Hello everyone, welcome to Fried Dice Paradise Presents, the Penelopean Islands team name pending. Uh, so Carrizo has died and has returned, and that's very exciting. Quick announcements before we get into that story. Tomorrow, uh, Void Boys is actually being pushed back a bit because... Yes, because um, there's a lot of work stuff on some of our players' side, so they just need to get over it. That being said, um, tomorrow we'll be playing Halo, so I'll be shitting myself in a FPS game because I really cannot play FPS games. And yeah, that's it, I guess. What's up? Hi, everybody. Welcome, players. How you all doing? Good. How are you? Hello. <laughs> I just realized, oh, yeah. I'm not myself in your chat. I'm not. I don't have mod powers. <laughs> <laughs> who who are you in chat? <laughs> mod powers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty yeah. easy to give you mod powers. Actually, you know what, Roy? How are you doing? I specifically want to talk to you about something. Uh oh. What? That's. Hi. Uh, I'm well. I mean, he did die. <laughs> and came and back. Came back. <laughs> so, Praise there's Carisa. probably some questions. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I. I'm excited to get around to those. I've been super addicted to drafting on mm. magic. And I want to play some of the decks. So when you're free, we should mm. totally test out right. some of the decks, you know, just to see whether uh, mm, it's an actually good, good yeah. deck or the people I played against just weren't very good. Because I think that happens <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'll, I'll need to draft some decks, I think. I, I haven't played much in, since release, but uh, I can make some decks easy. Uh, I think I'm one do one. Yeah. Well, um, Snooch saw some of the cards, right? With with um, mm -hmm. uh, the MTG to D and D. I'm working yeah, yeah, on editing yeah. some of that. Fun fact: uh, there was an oh. audio error with this last one. Uh oh. So can't use that one. But I did record the other ones, which I'm editing to to make videos. Of. God damn it! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Bang I do have audio. ideas for more. To make them more often so um i've been working on that part i still have to get the others uh see when time is good before we go I'm but i do have ideas for more I, I dig the series um it's it really pushes creativity i think especially for people who are not so familiar with magic um magic is an insanely massive game what Yes. What, how many cards are they at now? 17,000 cards? 18,000 cards? <sighs> Sorry, a million, million cards, as by far the way. I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unique yeah. cards, by the way. And, um, not including reprints, which happens a lot. Um, some cards that just aren't usable anymore because they don't make sense with rules updates mm -hmm. that they've had over the years. But yeah. Power creep, you know. Power creep, yeah. I think MTG's power creep is not too bad, especially since they started with insanely powerful they, cards that break the game, and then you're like, it, it was, "Oh, this it is was too broken." So let's, yeah. At some points, let's you know, scale like it they, back a bit. Yeah, exactly. The 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 creep ratio has been narrowed down, uh, mm -hmm. so that they're more just interesting twists rather than just significantly more powerful cards. <laughs> uh, I think they're doing a, a good job in in the more recent years of creating new new ways to make things cool uh, instead of just making them more powerful <laughs> but i have to admit i have a bias towards the the current sets because of the whole halloween like theme mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> vampire honestly if honestly if snowch played mtg i think he'd just only played this set <laughs> Because it's so, it's so mean, much listen, listen, there is an option for you to like uh, make a show out of teaching me. So you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. we, we, we talked about that, that a little bit. True. I would gladly join in. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, um, I haven't played. Like, yeah, I played Magic a long time ago, but like I haven't played it in recent decades. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I get maybe I get snazzy on that show too. What? So, like, you can have a noob's perspective? Like, <laughs> well, so the, the guy idea who of the played show... magic like three times in his life plays magic again. 
that's that's kind of kind of the the area I'm going for 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 the MTG to D and D stuff where you would make uh, where we take magic prompts and make D and D things out of them. Yeah. So you'd be creating D and D content. Ooh. Hmm. That would also be new for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> People forget this is Fair. my first but... campaign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Like I, uh, I mean, yeah, it kind of just like creates it's just typical D and D stuff on stream, like when I stream. So you have to understand, I'm at, I'm at that honeymoon phase with D and D where it's like everything is cool. Fair. Yeah. Which is like dice, death, <laughs> dragons. You know, you know, everything's cool. Ghosts. Not even annoyed by kobolds Zombies? yet. What are we working with? Yeah. I, I definitely want to get Snaz on to like um I mean Rorik as well I know Rorik wants to but we just haven't had like uh like the stars aligned for timing but I definitely want to get Snaz on like different uh systems as well right besides D and D because learning is, is quite what is this? yeah is quite crunchy other systems there's simpler I'll typically go for simpler systems um I don't have the uh, confidence to to run more complicated <laughs> stuff. For people who may not necessarily be as um, like knowledgeable on TTRPGs, like I wouldn't a run like, Alien like, for you uh, and Panda. Isn't, isn't the whole point of D and D that it's complicated as fuck? Actually, no. D and D five E is simple. It is considered simple. <laughs> Two point five. <laughs> yeah, the previous editions were a bit crunchier. Um, which is why I some people like... still prefer the old editions. I would grab a bug as well, like Rory, but like I'm not home. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. I would grab a book, but I don't own books. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna play Mark Borg. I have oh, like I wanna play Mark Borg. a one shot kind of done. I wanna play Gloomhaven, but that costs money. Mm. Or you could Too get the money. digital Gloomhaven version of Gloomhaven fun. and play with me and Blur, and Zen, oh. who's in chat now. You, you had me at three, you had me at digital. Three of us have it, <laughs> and we we haven't planned when to play it, but um, we were intending on playing it together. Maybe I should for at least Armello, one campaign. Right? That's what everyone else is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Armel is very fun. <laughs> oh man, nobody wants you know, to play Talisman, dude. Oh, Talisman is like my jam, but nobody wants to play it. I I, I, I played play Talisman, Talisman phys right. physical oh, copy, God. I think. I I I have a physical copy of it as well. Believe me, I can never get anybody to play with. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's it's. I've, I've got all four corner expansions and all of I yeah I snazzy. We can play some. <laughs> I have the digital version that has a bunch of stuff. I don't have like any of the expansions for my physical copy. My physical copy is literally just the base. I think mm. like the fifth edition or whatever. Like just mm. the base though, because like that's what I grew up on. I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I only played it in my college board game club. Like, that's... Because uh, as soon as it opened up, I was like, yeah, let me be the logistics person. Let me be the logistics person. <laughs> and they're like, oh, uh, no one wants to do logistics. And I was like, no. because they don't know how to spend money. <laughs> my favorite board game, though, is still uh, Betrayal on House on the Hill. Yes. I love Betrayal. We'll play that I love betrayal. Any, any chance I get. I only ever played Betrayal on Baldur's fun. Gate, so like just the D and D version of it. Yeah, mm. same thing. Really. It's very, it's very good. Yeah, I, 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 th I think I prefer Baldur's Gate, but they're both great. Like <laughs> top tier, uh, easily in my top five. Was at one point my favorite. Uh, I haven't reassessed. But... Um, I haven't tried the Betrayal House in the Hill expansion though. Also very good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, did I? I don't think I don't know if I ever played the expansion or not. Because I, I don't own it, so I just play whatever you know, whoever brings it over. I play it. So if anyone did have the expansion, I maybe right, and I would I wouldn't even know it. Uh, there, there is a. Uh, so they got uh, new uh, haunts to do in the expansion. And one of them is made by Pendleton Ward, the creator of Adventure Time. Uh, and in that adventure, you have to hug the ghosts out of your friend. <laughs> what? It's, it's very sweet. And, Pendleton uh, Ward is 
hit. It's such a weird oh. but genius. He has like weird but genius ideas. Yeah. Panda, what games have you been up to though? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, Sans. No, no, no. Yeah. I was just saying, I played this one board game recently though. I, I don't remember the name where you have to like. You're playing like psychic detectives and you have to like. One person is the ghost oh. and they have to like describe stuff to you. Oh, Mysterium. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh. That was pretty fun. Mysterium looks good. Alright. Like, I've seen the pieces. <laughs> I haven't played it formally. <laughs> I feel like there was another one in the similar vein that was. Uh, I might be thinking of the wrong one. What, what were you saying, Snowch, when you said Joshi Joshi? I just want to know, like, what the thing is about you playing in a VTM game. <laughs> oh, okay. Literally, two hours. Uh, okay, not two hours ago. Four hours ago. Vin was like, oh, I need one more person for a VTM game. And then I was like, okay. okay. Then <laughs> half an hour later, I was in a Discord group. <laughs> and then half an hour later, we were on his stream making characters. <laughs> Boy, that escalated quickly. And, and then I, I was like... like that's, that's kind of how it goes with RPGs a lot of times. You just... Yeah. Like... And old people. To, <laughs> to be honest, immediately. And here I am. To be honest, I'm a VTM game like three months ahead and shit. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm still like stunned that wait, we have a game, we have characters already. I'm so confused. <laughs> this is too fast, even by my standards. This is too fast. So who? And I usually plan them? like a a week in advance at least, right? With with people, I try two weeks in fact. So, so I'm like, who are you playing? He's a Ventru. <laughs> Come on, we all know. <laughs> I'm not, I, it was between Ventru and Toriador, actually. See, look at that. I fucking called. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so the the game master is a Filipino. Uh, she, 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 she's a Filipino GM, and she runs like a VTM game based in uh, Metro Manila. Uh, <laughs> so she, she's um. I'm playing a Toriador drag queen. Nice. A scene queen. Scene queen. Uh, so that's that's the plan. Named, uh, and most people won't know this, but because I haven't mentioned it, his name is Romeo Baltazar during the day, but at night he is Rochelle Mantique, or Romantique for short. <laughs> So I'm Dang. super ready for that. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, it was Toridor or, or Ventru for sure. Listen, I have a type two. If I ever when, when I get around to playing, I'll be a gangrel. I'm I'm sure of it. I'll cave in all the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, Panda. What games have you been up to? We need to play more horror together. Like, we need to yeah, actually yeah, play yeah. horror. Not more horror, um, we need to actually play horror. <laughs> I agree. Um, Rory killed me this week. I just want everyone to know. Yeah? Um, what game? It happened. There was no evidence. <laughs> wow! <laughs> we're, no playing, evidence. Uh, we're playing GTA 5 online. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Rory, uh, I need to get off, you know? So let me just deposit my money in the bank. And next thing, he was depositing bullets in me. <laughs> that is what happened. He killed me twice. Let me tell you, I did get my revenge, but that three times matter. you killed me three times. <laughs> oh wow, it was shocking. I didn't expect it. You know, it'd be your own people. It really be you. We did oh, crash a plane. A fun, okay, I crashed crash the plane. plane. <laughs> oh, I'm so so upset we didn't get video of that. <laughs> Um, I'm trying know to steal a private jet. Avoric has been one. trying to tempt me to play um, GTA 5. He was like, uh, do you have GTA 5 by, by any chance? And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have it on my computer and I have it on PS5. Then he was like, uh, and I said, why? And I said, no, I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> a friend. Yeah. You, we are you the found friend. the friend. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm keen to play some horrors. Just let me know when and which ones. 
Yeah, I mean, I need to see you play Phasmo. Wow, it's not a fun time. Oh yeah, Panda wasn't able to join. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, didn't we do that already? But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> but... That was me in the background. Yeah. I would love to do it with with Panda this time because you you were the one who convinced me to play it, so we did play it together, and I'd like to actually play it together. <laughs> There's another way to put it. Or be chased by ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as one does. Maybe we can hide <laughs> them. We should, we should go with that method. <laughs> Not sure that works on all ghosts, but. <laughs> <laughs> Only or... actually, actually, quick question before we get into the intro. Like, Snaz, would you want to play in a more crunchy TTRPG or a more, uh, a simpler I... TTRPG? I mean, I'm sh like, I struggle with the mechanics enough in this one, right? I don't, I probably don't need them to be any more complex, honestly. <laughs> true, true. All things all okay. considered. Because it, it does get a lot simpler. Death? I mean... How do you feel you know, about Joshi? Complexity. How do you feel about Burning Wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to try it, to be honest. Yeah. Because I know how it's supposed to be mechanically, but I haven't actually tried it myself. It feels great to play. It is a bitch to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard. Well. Uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's start the intro, and uh, we'll yeah. see you all in like a minute. Yeah! Hey. Last time, on the Penelope and Islands team named Pending, Elijah strikes out, having created a banishment spell on the party. A battle ensues, the party members teleport between each other and are attacked by skin-like bats and a morph version of Elijah. Elijah manages to take down some of the party members and eventually kills Carrizo. Mira lays a killing blow on Elijah. The party ponders throughout the rest of the day to decide if they are ready to head back or to push forward towards the egg gem that Aling Rosa wishes for them to obtain. They enlist the help of the priest to keep Carrizo's body from rotting. The party discusses their memories of him and their plan to return him to his family. Four days later, however, as they watch his body during the trip back, Carrizo miraculously breathes a deep inhale. What has happened? Why is Carrizo alive? Where does Team Name Pending go from here? As per usual, let's start with goals. Morthok, you have no goals. Mira, <laughs> protect Carrizo if that's still a thing, and find someone to bind to a contract. Um, well, I want to change one of them to learn a recipe from Carrizo, because I kind of okay. want to cook with, with the guy. Okay. And then I have to think about the first one. <laughs> okay. It's, it's the um, new morning show, Cooking with Carrizo. Cooking with Carrizo, yeah. Wait, I thought it was Cooking with Carrizos. <laughs> Carrizo, uh, currently no goals. Ooh, Panda just like Ooh. sent goals in chat. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> she thought ahead, clearly, right? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll update that slowly. Um, but yeah. Carizus and Morthok, if you have any goals, let me know. How many wait, do I have how many do I have right now? None. 
damn, I got all three of them. <laughs> You think I would think about these things more often? Um, Here's one. Get me a drunk. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> tank people. Um, <laughs> I, I think definitely um, one of the goals is going to be uh, you know figure out why Carrizo is alive. Does that make okay. sense? Okay. Fig- that f- particular. I just I just spelled figure F I G E R and I was like that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, listen, I'm not good at spelling, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, whatever does it. If you can understand what you wrote, right? That's all that matters. I, um, I think second goal will be start heading back towards the gem. Like, um, you know, you know, okay, the blue, the blue gen. Yeah, the blue gem. And third. I, you know what? I'm gonna go with uh, make sure that Carrizo's newfound life isn't uh, promptly squandered on something else. <laughs> like, let's make sure he actually what, stays alive this time for a little bit. What, what a nice <laughs> way of saying make sure Carrizo doesn't die again. Die. Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, it could also mean like you want to prevent Carrizo from going down like a dark path filled with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That makes it a little broader. That makes it a little broader. Uh, Carrizo? Um, uh, find out more about the Herald of the King. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, since, since it seems like we're go- gonna go back and follow the, the gem. Um, True. Uh, find out more about uh, Tufile. We're gonna put yep, that back yep. on the on the track. <laughs> put that back on the. Yeah. Uh, um. And yeah. Uh, teach teach Mira something to cook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. Actually. Wait a minute. <laughs> Attempt- yeah. Yeah. Uh, attempt to teach her uh, Carrizo's Adventures appetizers. Mm. Attempt. All right. Let me. Let me. Let me type that in. Or rather, uh, uh, scratch attempt. I, that's what I want to do. My goal is to spread that spell. <coughs> uh, which one are you placing? Teach me how something to cook, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just upgrading that to spell that's teach like a mira thing but also a spell uh what's the spell called in carrizo's uh adventurous appetizers adventurous appetizers okay uh and mira you said you want to change one of the two goals no well i'm i'm just gonna be say find someone to bind with a contract, learn a recipe from Carrizo, and learn who the Herald is, one that why they hand out magic to people. Or maybe like learn who the Herald is and what their goal is. I think that's sorry, sorry. Um I I had that half sneeze that didn't come out. So learn a recipe from Carrizo, find someone to bind a contract too. And <laughs> learn who the Herald is. Okay. The Herald, boss! The Herald! What their goal is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, fi- figure Herald, out why Carrizo is alive. <laughs> okay, more, more thought is figure out why Carrizo is alive. Head towards the blue gym. Make sure Carrizo's newfound life isn't promptly squandered. Mira, learn who the Herald is, what their goal is, find someone to bind the contract, and learn a recipe from Carrizo. Carrizo! Find out more about the Herald King, uh, Herald of the King. Find out more about Tufile. Teach Mira Carrizo's adventurous appetizers. Uh, Lehim, find out more about your mom. Uh, send Swimming Fingers a letter about working for him. And uh, what the hell happened to Carrizo? Yeah. Oh, about the mom's working for him because. So this homie just out here having secrets. Anyway, oh, one I told y'all we're gonna end up fighting. Fingers, Don't be surprised. Secrets. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't be surprised if 
Josh tells us, oh, we only have two more sessions left. And I'm like, my first goal and only goal is throw hands with swindling fingers. Don't be surprised. I'm warning you all now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be honest. As with the other game, my goal is to hit 69 episodes. And then I've peaked, you know, nice. like, that's where what I've maximized. Nice. I know, that's... It's a bit far, you know. I, I cannot put you all through that kind of pressure. <laughs> I mean, how many years like, is that? Actually, uh, okay, hundred and thirty episodes based on other shows that I've seen is about three to four years. <laughs> so if you're talking about four twenty, like, you're looking at twelve years potentially. Boy, like that. Virtually every like week. Fifty episodes a year if you're playing once a week. If you're really playing once a week, which most people yeah, are. Yeah, and that's like skipping two weeks and other things <laughs> come up, so... Oh. Skip Christmas, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, people come over here with their families. Have a several month hiatus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, okay. Yes, I, I will say, I'll be busy uh, Christmas weekend. Uh, it comes on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it actually does. It's, yeah, yeah, it's on Saturday. It? Yeah, I, I, oh. I, uh, I had to check. I'm like, I wonder, because if it's not, I could probably make it. And then yeah, but we'll we'll deal with that when it, after when that, it comes. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's New, New Year's. Year's. Also on a Saturday, so. Oh. Yeah, so that's like two weeks of of not making I mean, it. I mean, listen, <laughs> New Year's, we can totally make that. <laughs> Kick off the new year with D and D. You really want me to be hanging? I here. would. I <laughs> would. Want, I would be curious. Yeah, just trash. That. Yeah, trash. Oh my god, there you go. Trash D and D. I would. I mean, okay. We'll, we'll deal with that when it comes. And if we do it, it most probably won't be this game. It'll be a different game. But all right, let's let's get in. Let's play some D and D. This is cool, Panda. Um, the ship's scent um, of the ocean wafts in the air. The sight of confusion is apparent. Carrizo has woken up from death. <laughs> Little to nothing is understood about this phenomenon by the party. Carrizo, what are your words to the party? <laughs> we had a small conversation last time, but like... Yeah. He, he woke up, grabbed the the hand with the locket in it. Where... Where, where are we? Did we win? <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. What? <clears throat> um, I, th I think he's. What do you mean? Where's that rat win? bastard? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to say, like, Mira's just going to, like, push him and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> He just falls out of his, like, coffin box <laughs> onto the floor. <laughs> like, it was most probably a what cheap coffin, doing? too, right? And then it just oh. breaks. W was he redressed? <laughs> Is he in his coat? Like, <laughs> we, probably, we probably would have put a, his coat on yeah. you. <laughs> I'd imagine. Nice. Hmm. Does anyone have an explanation to what is happening here? Mothak? This isn't a what ghost, right? I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Uh, so Morthok will reach out and, like, poke Carrizo in the chest. <laughs> Ow. No, I, I think he's solid. <clears throat> what the... What, what's going on? Where are we? What do you mean, uh, what's going on? From outside, you What do you mean, what's you going on? You were dead. <laughs> yeah, I hate to inform you of this, bud, but you, uh... <laughs> You died. Oh. Oh. Is that like, it? Oh. He, he, like, he, yeah. <laughs> he like looks for. He checks his thing, but it's not the the lock. It's not there. And he like looks around. Uh, I think it's Liam who has it. Actually, no, it's like, hey, it's, it's, it's Mira, I think, who has the locket. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Is Mira just already gone? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, she's somewhere, like, out yeah. the door. <laughs> Where, where'd the lock go? And you just, like, hear, like, steps. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't even think this would work. Uh, who has the locket? What locket? The, my, my locket. The one with my face, uh, with the weird picture of me on it. I didn't know you had one. <laughs> Reception mm -hmm. zero. <laughs> Huh. That's the name of the group for the week. Borthog doesn't pay attention to jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Fa Sorry, quick, quick detraction. The, the Fa title of this uh, episode is definitely going to be Carizus and his apostles. Just, just saying. <gasps> yes. uh, not, is it not team Wait. named Carizus? <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta find that locket. Uh, I. Where's Mira? We can get her in here. It's best to say it just at once, you know? Uh, Morthok will stick his head out and look around. I think the locket's the reason I'm alive. Um, so I think Mira How? will just, like, get on deck and just lean, like, against the side. <laughs> <laughs> Mira really said as far as I possibly can be. <laughs> Mira, could you make another Arcana check? Sure. Spice. As usual, if I assume... Oh, that's the wrong chat. I tried to do it in Twitch. <laughs> 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 Alright. I assume with Charisma as usual? Yeah, yeah. So, plus... Wait, what is it? Dice will now roll in chat as well. Ooh. 25. Um, when you grab the locket, um, there was like a, a, a kind of spiritual spark, I would say, right before uh, Carrizo had his inhale. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, all in the locket. Yeah. Um, so I, f she's just going to like lean like against the thing with like holding the locket over the edge and just like looking at it. <laughs> Are we recreating that scene from Titanic? <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> as much as Carissa would freak out, thinking about it, maybe the bottom of the ocean is an okay place for the luck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Carizo, Lee, him, and Morthok go up to deck, you're definitely going to see you're out there. Well, I, I think Morthok is definitely going to hang around and make sure... Carrizo doesn't, like, throw himself into a volcano or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're staying in this uh, room? Are we going to go find Mira? Listen, that's not a thing that hasn't happened in this setting already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, Carrizo, at least, wants to go find Mira. Probably leading, leading the way. Looking around. Okay. So, eventually you reach the deck. Boat? Yeah, it's the middle of the <laughs> day, so you see the crew just there. How long was I out for? Out? Why are you saying it's like you took a nap? Because I'm alive again, and... <laughs> From his perspective, he probably did take a nap. It's been Neat trick, least... I don't suppose you can replicate that again. I gotta find that locket. I'll, I'll tell you more, which... Which Mira? Mira's where the side looking yeah, over the like, ocean. Yeah. Well, not really looking over the ocean, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> 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 
So yeah, Carrizo, you definitely see Mira there. Yeah. <laughs> he sees her with the locket over the edge, just like, uh, 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 Mira! <laughs> As he like slowly <laughs> approaches, <laughs> trying not to startle. <laughs> Approach like you would a cat, very carefully. Yeah. Carrizo. Uh, yeah, what is hey. this? <laughs> Straight yeah, I would point. like to know as well. This isn't something that you see normally. I, uh, hey, if you could hand it over, I'd love to explain. Um, honestly, I didn't know that it would work. I, I think you can explain to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a magical locket. Uh, well, that much is certain. <laughs> uh -huh. um, it's supposed to, to save me from death. When I figured that out, how am I supposed to believe that? Well, well clearly you uh, believe it enough to wear it. I mean, yeah. If you if you were given a, a thing to prevent you from death, even if you didn't believe it, wouldn't you? You know, gamble. You know, it would. It would be very helpful if we actually knew that before you died. Uh, what's the price for getting back up? Um, I I'm not sure that I can uh, unattune from it now. Oh, great. So now we have someone who's dependent on a magical object. Uh... Uh, I think Morthok will stop and then just look at him. Are you a lich? You know... I can see the the comparison. I, I don't think so. Word of warning, if you try to bite me, I will kill you. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I, I <laughs> Carrizo has, like, a, a moment of realization. Like, <laughs> there aren't very many differences now that you mention it. <laughs> I, I don't think witches generally bite people. Well, I'm not sure he's not a zombie yet. Uh -huh, uh -huh, fair. How does this locket work? Yeah. Uh, it's it's supposed to bring me back from the dead, an amount of time. Uh, at this point, Morthok will die. cross over and try to I mean, take the locket to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Mira, and he'll hold his hand out. Um, sure it's like look at you. Carrizo is visually anxious. <laughs> in the, in the like, I think I think after a while, like a short while, we'll just like throw it at you. <laughs> Do I have to make a, uh, a <laughs> an ability check to catch it? I'm um, I, if you want. Uh, I don't if think it's want, necessary. Sure. <laughs> but it's funny. I think you're, oh, I think you're fit enough to, you're fit and big enough to <laughs> catch it. But or sleight of hand. <laughs> I'd, I'd say it's um, acrobatics. Oh, it's like nimbleness, way. right? You have to have a level of finesse oh, for this. Mrs. Mosha takes two damage, but hits him in the head. <laughs> it just hits your forehead, right? <laughs> And then you're like, Good throw. like slap, slap your face. Teresa takes six points of anxiety damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Morthog will pick up the yeah, lock. Carrizo, you know, know if you actually bit. take that damage, you would drop to zero again because you're at one HP right now. Uh, oh, great. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what about, about it. Remember what I said about squandering your newfound life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> death, death by pen. Death by pendant. Yeah. See you guys in a few. <laughs> <laughs> Carrizo, do you put the locket back on? Well, so Morthok is staring oh. at it. Is there uh Do I... Can I tell anything about this object at all? Have I ever seen anything like this before? What's, what's the picture look like, Josh? I'm curious um, also. So you see this um, faceless, featureless 
no eyes, no nose, no mouth version of Carrizo. Um, similar head shape, similar body structure. You see his cloak, right? His colorful uh, clothes. Um, you see what appear to be like claw marks from the bat's attack um, over his, I would say over his face, right? Um, parts of his cloak are also ripped up. Um, I believe you were at least like poison sprayed or something like that along the lines. Oh, no, no, you were, uh, you cast harm, was it, on you? Yeah. The six level spell. Um, yeah, harm, so you, harm happened. That wasn't the thing that downed me, though. Um, yeah, you see a bunch of, of claws. Of his, um, I would say a, a, sure a, the thing that downed you was he punched you in the face. Yeah, it was a punch, right? <laughs> so you, you oh, see part punch, of his yeah. part of his uh, face is caved in a bit, um, and there's a bit of I would say rot on his flesh. Well, it's not the prettiest picture of you, I suppose. <laughs> and Morthok will close it and, and throw it back at Kreezer. Do you want to roll acrobatics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, because he has trash dexterity. <laughs> oh, my way. And I think it's funny. Can I hit this? Uh, oh, uh... I'm taking disadvantage because he's just woken up from death. He catches it. <laughs> Damn. I assume 15 is enough. <laughs> yes, 15 is enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you catch it. No issues. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, he, he pops it open to look at it quickly and then closes it again and puts it back on. So, uh, back to you potentially being a zombie. <laughs> hmm. Or a lich, um, or any other manner of enchanted when being. I, uh, when I identified it, it didn't, it didn't say anything like that. Uh, you know, magic items sometimes have a cost, though. It's not uh, improbable. I've been trying to figure out more about... Um, uh, the the painting's owner. Um, you seem to be the owner now. Well, the creator, I guess. Uh, Two file. Uh, apparently, a, a painter, a wizard of some sort. Uh, now I'm trying to remember if Mira ever heard that name during the game before. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's like if she has, then I probably rolled to see if I know anything. If she hasn't, then you know. <laughs> oh, they, you can so you can still make like he... a history roll, but at disadvantage. Uh, Morthok and Liam might have heard Carrizo asking about it at times, but mm, since Mir has been here, I don't think he's been looking. Yeah, with a ten, two file is, um. Like, Tufail is a very obscure figure in history. Um, I don't know if you all know Greek mythology, like uh, Achilles, Achilles and his best friend Patroclus, you know, like how barely anyone knows who Patroclus is. Yeah, that's like how obscure Tufail is. So, I mean, even if mm. they didn't know, that kind of makes the point, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like a lot of people don't know who Petroclus is and yeah it's that kind of obscure figure so maybe that's why uh, Mira doesn't know who Tufile is a hmm. uh, man it... yep uh, I, th I think the the locket or at least it's magic saves me from the void dragon as well when did you What's find that? this locket? I don't remember Boy, you picking this up. Can... <laughs> We've been through a lot. Story. We've been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Our first uh, job together with uh, with Grumble Ma as well. Uh, the big painting we found it oh, was magic, yeah. and I was able to just, just shrink it down. You know, I was going to say that painting was a little big to wear, but... Huh, who would have known? 
I was able to put it in that the locket from the void person we found. I mean, this I one. my sword has conversations with me, so I guess this shouldn't be that hard to believe, <laughs> should it? And he'll turn to Mira again and go, long story. <laughs> Why did I... Why is this the first time I hear about all this? Hey, uh, never came up will in take, conversation. Will, will, Morthog will take the sword out and like... Like, extend it out to Mira. Can, can I just quickly say that everyone has a voice in their head except for... Um, the him. I'm just at <laughs> you. Boring. You can look at it if you like. Look, you guys all have ghosts, and I don't. So yeah, so I don't have all... no ghosts. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'll just like grab the sword. Just, does it speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> Morthok will lean over and like, there's a dragon in there. It's abnormally cold metal, especially in this tropical heat that you're currently in. You could cool down food with this. I've thought about it. What? Ooh. Uh, a man walks up. I, and then <laughs> I feel he, like that might be disrespectful to the dragon, but we could, <laughs> in theory, if there wasn't a sentient creature and we could make some like ice shaving stuff, that would be delicious. So we can recreate that. We should get on that. Hey, so would it be appropriate um, for us to go to a more private space for a moment? Um, who are you? And then he <laughs> looks like, at... around at the other crewmates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, you see the body, uh, the, the clothes that he's wearing? He looks like he's just one of the crewmates here. Um, but the way he's speaking seems a bit unsailorly so to say mm. and then he looks at each of you and then he blinks once and then you just see his eyes change from a normal um hue to this completely sapphire blue so oh. will, uh, will step and then he blinks again and disappears uh i want to roll for intimidation <laughs> i don't think there is intimidating that person. Just saying. <laughs> Gonna try. Well, he looks at Josh, you. Why can't you just let us rest? Let's talk about those quickly. Why can't we just rest? <laughs> <laughs> he he replies to Morthok and says, um, "I would recommend that you do not hurt this body, as I do not own it. Um, the poor sailor here will get back to his work when I leave." Okay. That's all I needed to know, I guess. And he'll snort and just kind of like push him away slightly. Not like, you know, not violently, but like slightly. Um, perhaps uh, he points at Kizo. This man's old um, resting place. Would be private it enough would for be us. In our best interest to to do what he says. A tomb is as good a place as any, I guess. And I'll Are you okay? Why do you seem a bit tense? Uh, and I'm gonna go Am take I my okay? Back first. Am I tense? Excuse <laughs> me. Carizo just woke up from death, <laughs> and we're getting to No. Hey. <laughs> Morthok's gonna put a hand on uh, a mirror shoulder. Listen, I've seen a coal wall change into a frog. This is this is hardly the craziest thing that's happened so far. But it is up there. But it definitely is up there, yes. Then as right, you the way, reach and he'll point at the yeah. He's reached the, the coffin room, right? You see Carrizo's coffin is just on the ground cracked. Um after he fell off of it. Um this man walks up uh, to a nice space. He begins waving his hands and you see a swirl of water begin to form. And then he sits on it like a chair. So... You see, I, I had a thrall. 
in the village of Skyjuice. And one of you murdered my thrall. Yes? No? Who are you? <laughs> Unless your uh, thrall believe... was a bat, I don't think uh, it was me, but... I believe I'm assume kids... you mean, uh, what was his name? And I'll, I'll look over to Liam. Uh, I think Elijah. Elijah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, That's funny yes, fellow. Yes, yes. So, it, it according to his kids... Shrot. They, they might call me the Herald of the King. Uh, a bit too uh, fancy of a name. Well, we, we meet in the flesh, I suppose. Hmm. Yes, uh, we did kill your thrall. So, I would like he a replacement. people in the village. Yeah. He had to be dealt with. But what are you thinking, giving a man like that magic? He wanted his kids to go to school. I can Small price to pay, I would believe. Small? Murder? You know, oh, well, you could I was... just get you could you could have just given him a bunch of gold. That probably would have been just as efficient. Yeah. Taking his rice. I don't know. Uh, you see, we traded for his soul, and he has to earn his way. To that kind of hell. You people and souls. Morthox is in a crossover, by the way, and uh, he's gonna take his sword and put it on, to, like, into the water. I, I just want to try something. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you see it like f freeze and melt as it flows around your blade. Interesting. I would like a new thrall. That sounds like a you problem. And uh, because you killed my thrall, one of you at least, that becomes an us problem. Hey, hey, they try to kill us as well. They did kill one of us. Don't ask the details, but... Yeah, it's hard but to believe something... that this spry young man was dead mere minutes ago. <laughs> That, that that is interesting. Um, I had felt it, but I do not understand it. You might be an, an you might be a useful thrall, a thrall that does not die. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. It, it. <sighs> well, we kind of need to come to a middle ground. None of you want to offer. Yes? You stop hiding behind sailors. Tell us where we can find you. And uh, I promise I won't immediately cut you down. Damn. That is a very good idea, actually. The four of you look a lot more useful, I'd say, than Elijah was. More capable. Name your price. I'm I'm sorry, but what did Elijah get in return? Exactly. He got his magic? Yes, and his kids. Let's say there's a trust fund that we've given to the kids for them to be fully educated. And in return, so why the murder? He gave his soul to you. Well, to my king, of course. Not me, I'm just a middleman. You know what they say, do not murder the messenger. Yeah, no one actually says that. Uh, where can we find you? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure messengers get murdered all the time. <laughs> I mean, Elijah got murdered. I should tell you the story about the one time I got hired to murder a messenger. Well, murder is a strong word. Beat up, really, was the unimportant. Where are you now? Head towards Manaul's island. That is the 
If you look at the map, it's the island next to the dragon with no color on it. Oh. We'll put it on the stream. I want to see. Yeah, yeah, I'm switching. <laughs> I'm switching it out. It's the it's the one with so this area is famous for being a Bermuda Triangle esque kind of place. Ships that go in never come out. Lovely. This specific Great. island. I uh, suppose I better go see the captain about turning this boat around. Um, I'd rather you not bring anyone else. Well, I'm not going to swim there. <laughs> Pay for a ship. You want me to buy an entire boat? Rent a ship. I repeat, you want me to buy an entire boat? Even if temporarily. <laughs> this might come as a shock to you, but I'm not exactly a sailor. Liam, do you know how to drive a boat? I can barely no? be the king is boat. The king is equivalent to a god. He'll make sure the waters are safe for you for now. If I had a nickel for every god. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turns to Mira. The king told me about you, though. You already have a deal. With a specific Rosa. You are correct. Perhaps you could be... an emissary between the two of them. Well, what is needed, I suppose. All right then, it's settled. Nothing. You'll get your ship. We'll keep your waters safe, so that you the boat will fly itself. I guess. I mean, sail itself, not fly. Don't worry, I won't scare you with any of that kind of mech. Thank you for this conversation. I appreciate it. Ta-da! Toodles. Goodbye. The water chair disappears. The sailor falls to the ground smacks hard and he wakes up and he's like what is happening and he I gets up tell I'm gonna hate that guy sleep <laughs> <laughs> he casts sleep yeah he, he's definitely gonna fall asleep he doesn't have a lot of HP <laughs> knocks the ground Mozak, you really gonna go? Alone? What do you well, mean alone? Seems like at least a few of us are interested. And, uh... <clears throat> this might be, uh... Useful to finding a certain gem that I know a few of us are looking for. At least. What gem? Mm. Uh, Morthok will look over at Mira. Do you want to tell them? You know, you know more details than I do. <sighs> um, Rasa is after uh, gems, and she asks, "Well." us to retrieve them. Yeah, I'm just like... It's Warthog, just obviously Warthog Warthog withholding Warthog. information still. Warthog, clarify. No, she <laughs> asked you. I just promised I would help you. And he'll lean back on a, on a wall. What do I have to roll to see this withholding of information? <laughs> <laughs> you can, you inside. can roll it inside if you want to. Uh, do, you, do you need uh, me please, to like... You have to roll for me. Roll deception <laughs> against it. 
Uh, yeah. Are you are you being deceitful? Or if you want, you can just set like a uh, what do you call that? A fixed number, like, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Did you roll so, trash? Um, Josh? <laughs> so, uh, Josh oh trash. no, no. No, no, no. So I rolled oh, what a delicious one of wow, deception. Josh. <laughs> oh, Snouch rolled 31. The best lie ever told. Okay, babe. Then don't even worry about continuing. We already know. <laughs> Unless you can bring out something, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, you, you didn't even try, huh? The next town that you're going to, I, I tried, and you know, I definitely. I will be honest. I'll be honest. I do not remember why Rosa wanted those crystals in the first place as a player. <laughs> um, you can have a conversation if you want on one of the evenings. But you can call her anytime. Oh, but I don't remember why she wanted. She's a phone call away, Mira. Mm. <laughs> she might be happy that you phoned her first, you know? Mm. For a change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. You never I'll... call. <laughs> Talk to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the next town that you're going to, where the ship stops, is... It's on the island where um, Milady is at right now. It's called the Blue Hellion. Is is there an opportunity to Milady park on there? the ship? Um, M Milady is just a representation of you all. Oh. Um, what, what were you saying, Sonch? I was just asking if there is opportunity to cook on the ship. Um, yes. You can definitely ask the. You can definitely ask the chef if you can use it when they're not making stuff. I think they'll be okay with it. Okay, um, I will approach Corizo. First of all, I am angry at you. What? Do you want to cook something? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Why not? That's how, that's how anger works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go. Let's cook it out. <laughs> Are we doing a two-player skills challenge here? <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> I mean, I... Like, you... Yeah. More Reason, you, are, watch. you are the chef. You're mm, mm. clearly better at cooking. What are we Depending doing? on... Depending on how bad it is, we might make uh, Morthok and Liam make constitution saving throws when they taste it. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, that's <laughs> bad. Morthok is going to oh, stand wait. there watching, like, very loudly eating an apple. Wait, I can't. Now I'm throw savings and be seasick at the same time. Wait, let's talk about those. Yo, better roll nice. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll keep it simple um, because you're having instructions. Uh, we'll say. Uh, Snoach, uh, you you do it with. Uh, let's, let's aim for three successes and two failures. <laughs> All right. All right. Your next roll is a disadvantage. Great. <laughs> um. So, what is the first step, Carrizo? I'm I'm trying to think of what we're cooking. Uh, you can like, you can totally meanwhile actually, you're actually just like getting talked to just like I cannot believe you made us go through all that. You could have just told us about the locket. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you could have told us about the gem. Damn. That's beside the point. <laughs> I think it's just the same point that secrets are okay. How is a secret okay that makes it so we made 
have never opened that fucking locket. By the way, while what? while this argument's going on, Morthok is gonna like slowly lean over to Liam and offer her an apple. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> I feel like she's trying to write the same note to Swindling to ask about him, but now she's distracted. She, ooh, she went there. <laughs> <laughs> This is the equivalent of popcorn, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you you know some magic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll, how about we I cook know some with healing magic? magic? Try to get you up. Perfect. Well, come in handy here. <laughs> Damn, Mira. Just roll over it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so he's going to pull out a bit of, uh, a, a more, some more Kraken to make some Kraken sushi. Okay. So first step, uh, I guess, would be to cut the Kraken sushi? Yeah. The Kraken meat? Yes. So I think it's, uh, the idea I have is you de-skin it. And then use the skin as the roll, filling it with things and okay, also okay. the meat. But I guess so it's more it's... like like stuffed stuffed kraken then at that point. But okay, okay, let's do the skinning first. So I would say sleight of hand. All right, this is a disadvantage. By the way, yep. uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, hey, Rorik, do you ever want to like use uh, guidance for this, or are we good? Uh, yeah, yeah, he would. <laughs> he would. Uh, what guidance. Do you say? Oh yeah, so you want to like cut it, cut it longwise, so you, that way you can get the knife in, and then do it the. Uh, you know, he he guides you as to to how to easily skin it. Nice. What the actual fuck? <laughs> hey! So, 26! <laughs> okay, one one success. One success. Um, Listen, one. sleight of hand and deception are my two skills that I <laughs> do have, okay? Mm -hmm. Carrizo, um, Mira has done this so phenomenally <laughs> that even hey. you think you're, you can't... C like skin a kraken with this level of quality. Hey, you're pretty Damn. good at this. Almost as good as you know, keeping to yourself. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Damn. What is with this early morning sass from? For is this what happens when you come back from the dead? I mean, yeah, I guess yeah, that's, that's the ultimate crankiness, right? Okay, what's the second part of cooking Kraken <laughs> sushi? Stuff Kraken sushi. <laughs> what is, does Mira have a reaction to that? Like, <laughs> um, I think I think like the knife she used just goes into the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, look, uh, the. the one of the most important things about cooking is being able to dish as much as you can take. <laughs> uh, now we want to prepare our is stuff. That all you here. can take? <laughs> <laughs> Vicious mockery. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Are you serious? Yep. I, mean, I died. A... <laughs> you don't even need to roll. Wait. Has Carrizo actually rested? Nope. I, would, no, I would assume hasn't. this happens like after we rested, though. Like if if not, oh, okay. then I'm How not gonna do it. How many days of sailing do we have? Yeah, okay. I think we haven't rested yet. Well, would you like to roll a wisdom save? <laughs> yes. Chris <laughs> is pretty wise, right? <laughs> I am nothing but intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, intelligence oh. and wisdom are not the same thing. Ex 
exactly. No, it, that's kind of my point. <laughs> I think I'll just throw one of these up. Is Carrizo knocked out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's up on HP. I oh. thought about healing him, but I'm like, that's oh. the worst that could happen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did that hurt? Healing words. <laughs> did he just pass out? I didn't know that cooking was such an extreme. Extreme? <laughs> yeah, it's 7 HP. Is... And Amira heals you immediately. Hey. <laughs> next step of Kraken well, Sushi. What is the next step, Chef? <laughs> You're just gonna get up from the ground, okay? Yeah. So just, all right. <laughs> um. Now we uh, now we gotta mix the the stuffing, I guess. Uh, what, what do you want in this? Savory, spicy, what are you thinking? Ah, uh, I do like spicy. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll try to find some, some peppers and uh, some spices. Probably some, some rice and a cream. We, I, I would think that you might go in this region because you are closer to Rojo. Um, they might have those like uh, I don't know if you've heard it like it's called Lati. it's like um, the dried Chinese peppers mm -hmm. chili peppers they're pretty spicy but they're also very they're num it's a numbing spice oh I see sure that's actually great it's being like real life it's awesome <laughs> mm. yeah I love that shit. Um, yeah, so I would say making the stuffing, do you grind it? Uh, yeah, probably. Because mm, I'm now I'm leaning Grind's towards some mixed. sort of um, either strength check or constitution, De depending on how long it takes. A, a, a dexterity check to not get it in your eyes? <laughs> Completing <laughs> Yeah, we could totally do another dic a, a dexterity, a general dexterity to just avoid getting splattered in the eye with this chili. I mean, is that a skill or just dexterity? Um, I'm leaning towards just dexterity. Is it because you don't want to say sleight of hand? Because <laughs> we already use sleight of hand. Yeah, twice. D different skills. Is there any guidance? I assume that the instructions are guidance, really. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll still give you guidance. <laughs> Do I have disadvantage right now? I uh, know, you don't. Nice. Wow. What would be the final steps? To making 21. this kraken. Um, the, the final steps, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, like cooking the meat and then uh, placing it inside the the skin, the, the other stuffing, the the rice mm -hmm. and the the like almost risotto-like stuff with the meat into the thing. Compiling. Okay, I think make a performance check. This is to make it look pretty. <laughs> it's important. Right? So, how how are we stuffing this, Carissa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you want to take the uh, you want to take the the, the rice and the pepper uh, mix. Uh, put that in there uh, into uh, the wrap and then put the meat. Kind of stuff it in there. Make it like a hole. Put it in. Got like a little wrap with a little meat out. Hmm. 
It's actually kind of fun. Mira may have made better Kraken stuff Kraken than you have. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> it looks delicious. Thanks. Are Marthok and Liam gonna go for it? Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, sure. I'm just gonna like hand f the first one to Carrizo. Am I gonna have to make a Constitution check, or are we can we assume <laughs> that they've done it oh, successfully no, enough to win? I don't know. They, they, they've done a good enough job. You can just eat right. it. So. Yeah, let's. It's all success. Before we do that, though, um, uh, uh, Carrizo will take some, and then, uh, so if you wanna, if you wanna make this a little more magical, um, I'm he's listening. he's going to cast uh, Carrizo's adventures appetizers, and put the the magic into it. Um. And en en enchanting uh, the the dish in front of him. This should give it uh, some extra flavor and uh, also some uh, health benefits. Uh, uh, you can you can use uh, tap into your healing magic. It's uh, very very similar, and he'll like show you the the symbols and hand movements. I, you know, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> That, I, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but, like, I, I guess I'll try to understand what just happened and try and recreate it with bard magic. Can I do that? <laughs> Question mark? Use, use performance magic instead of recipe magic. I mean, I did make um... really nice looking, you know? <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. We're gonna Animation. need to create a downtime log for that. Damn. Oh, Fair enough. That's the, that's the first one. For, for Mira. Uh, it's gonna take a while to learn it. Um, Alright. Yeah, make a general intelligence check. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a learning <laughs> check. Oh boy. Are you smarter than... Do I have, like, advantage on anything? <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead and take advantage because you you succeeded. You didn't fail at all. Like a pseudo crit. Uh oh. Ah, <gasps> Zen. <laughs> oh. Not Zen, y'all. Uh, you still rolled <laughs> oh, a sixteen man. anyway. You still rolled a sixteen. A uh, I'll I'll say, I'll keep that for for your next roll. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you have one success so far um, in learning how to make this. Uh, you aren't able to complete the spell. Um, there's just some level of barrier between what you've learned so far and actually replicating it. But you feel like it's possible. Do you have this okay. won't work with any uh, any ingredient too. This is uh, it's um, y you need something uh, uh, special if that makes sense. Special. Some s yeah, cow cow and chicken won't work. For example, you need a uh, heftier creatures, perhaps some with uh, magical ties uh, to be able to to do it. You mean like a kraken? As he's eating kraken juice? <laughs> like a kraken. <sighs> oh no. We killed a kraken once. Why didn't we get sushi that time? Hey, Carrizo, thanks. <laughs> for, uh... <sighs> a couple of days later, uh, the ship will arrive. At the Blue Hellion, uh, where it docks uh, and you get off, um, it's, I would say, mostly a stilt village. 
um, it's pretty small. You can gauge that the population is maybe just over 60 to 70 people. It's really a stopover point, not so much a place where people actually um, live, right? Or it's not really a tourist spot, but there's a lot of trade that goes here as well. Um, you can see as you arrive, one of the big things here is that there's a lot of storage space. Um, it seems to be uh, a holding area, at least between uh, Morado Azul and Rojo. As you get off, you see that there is this frog-like being who oddly gives you big fish vibes. <coughs> Is that the grumble I heard about? No, he, he doesn't. He doesn't look like a frog anymore. It's a long story. Um, do we care about this person? And then you see a box, um, like the frog run over and then like asks for something seemingly from one of the crew members and the crew members like oh yeah there points at a box and then um, the frog runs over to the box and starts removing the nails right from the box and out of the box you see big fish cup them up what oh and then we they brought like, big fish they like high, high ten each other and then they're talking in their own language that you do not understand. They're just well, watching that's fish get taken out of a box. By a you don't frog. need to interact with them, but you can. You can just. It's, it's just a scene that happens for sure. You know, I'm. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see any of this. You know, I agree with you, Mozak. I agree. A yeah, and they frog. walk off. High five. And then another... Uh, um, a Ganassi, water Ganassi, walks over to um, the four of you and is like, um, uh, We've paid for that ship for you. But rest for the evening. It's gonna be a long trip. friend <laughs> here we go again <laughs> we hear we hear a cat in the background <laughs> yeah there's definitely <laughs> cats in the background i know um, lee him over here is a little seasick so she might enjoy the land for a little bit i hate to agree <laughs> all right well more thought will set off to try to find it in hmm. how do you know that this never mind and then you see the guy's eyes, um, he blinks, it turns blue, and the blue fades. And then he like looks confused for a moment, and then he walks away. Mira just gonna so make them sleep again. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> By the way, go ahead and take a long list. Uh, please click for me. But I do think I took one. Yeah. Peaceful village. Is there anything y'all want to buy or sweets? What what would they specialize in? <laughs> the the ch the chocolate uh, glutinous rice is a very common sweet here. Um, you, when you walk around, you do see um a little hut that seems to be selling a bunch of like uh, homemade snacks and candies um one of the interesting things that you see is this um powdery it's a powdery stick um for people in this region they'll know it as a polvron uh, it's a sweet powdery candy that when you bite into it it kind of explodes because it's it breaks very easily um it comes in many flavors typically vanilla chocolate ube uh, which is like um i think ube is yam 
and uh, like cookies and cream. Ooh, that sounds so delicious. For real, for real. Yeah. Um, they have another candy that wrap in in like this. I would say like baking paper that has. It's, it looks like nuts, various types of nuts that are, I would say, glued together using caramel, molten caramel. Damn, Josh. <laughs> Making me more hungry than my character, damn. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty cheap. How much cheap. are these candies? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for, you can buy one for two copper. Or five for one silver. Uh, or or six for one silver. How many things will she get for one gold? <laughs> Sixty. 60. <laughs> Quite a you few. already know. <laughs> you already know she comes with with the gold. Like. Quite a few. <laughs> um, so when you put the gold down, the the candy seller is just like, um, I I I don't have enough change for you. You want 60 pieces. Okay. Mix and match. Mix and match. Wait, wait. match. You don't have change for a gold? None. Oh, Carrizo, you can't also? Um. Yeah, these are I, was buying for, I was buying for everyone. <laughs> We don't oh, usually okay. have we don't usually have people spend this much on candy. That's fair, that's fair. Usually we just have the kids go by and they buy two or three pieces. Mm. Sometimes they come together and they buy f six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of us. There's, mm, there's a lot of us that are gonna eat okay. those candy. Okay. Um, enjoy. Which one are you buying, by the way? The pulverons or the um? Listen, a little bit of everything. food for the gods. Okay. <laughs> a little bit um, of everything. They all sounded so delicious. Uh, uh, I I kind of want to just like ask Morthok. Um, just I I was thinking of putting up, you know, a. Slide of hand show. You want to help? Sure, I guess. Well, what do you need? Well, we need a location and we need people. And also, we need uh, protection. That's probably your area. Protection from what? From rowdy people, if that happens. Hecklers. Yeah, should be easy enough. Looks around. I don't know where you'd want to hold this. Um. Hmm. Is there an inn nearby, like where we're resting? Yeah. Um. It's just. It's like a small tavern, right? And they most probably have a couple of rooms there. Maybe at the tavern? Well, there's probably going to be some people in there, for sure. <laughs> so, you sure. all head over to the tavern. Um, and you want to make a performance there? Um, what what yeah, you performing? Yeah, I pretty much just like want to start with just like, um, you know, um, like a want to see a magic trick but to like a random person it's just like it's it's not actually magic <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and um like i just switch cards and <laughs> go ahead and make um, a performance check yeah. I, I think i have disadvantage is that right yes what did you say that it's light of hand though <laughs> yeah, he could pass with sight of hand. He could pass with sight of hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun you you earn. Fun. You earn a total of about 
um, 13 silver from people throwing money at you for, for this performance. <laughs> um, Do I have, does Warthog have to throw anybody who's rowdy out? M- most prominently, um, you see Big Fish and Big Frog, they run up to you and they're like clapping their hands. Like, <laughs> I, super I, I joyful. I want to say like, uh, to like the frog first and then Big Fish, just like, um, are you familiar with with this game? If and I like just pulled out three cards, and I just want to pull them into three card Monty. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they look at each other. Um, they they look at each other, and then Big Fish looks at you and is like, "Big Fish friend." And then Big Frog is like, "Big Fish." Big frog friend. So big frog friend? <laughs> and then big frog looks at you. I, huh? Oh, Not? I would. Yes. More thought he's just there like shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> so right, right as you're about to um, play with play the game with him, this scrawny fella comes up to you and he pulls out a small knife and he's like Hey, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't ask if you could, if you could run your business here, you know? Oh, I'd like to make a do about it. Um. A little knife. <laughs> I get a vicious mocker you mean. <laughs> uh, I'm grabbing his hand. That's a grapple. So what's that? Uh, uh, athletics? Boo. Yeah. I have a disadvantage, right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna roll. I have an advantage on this, so I'm just gonna roll. Wow. That's pretty good, though. I'm gonna roll for his wisdom first. <sighs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> that, if he actually that. falls, then I am going to, like, use healing ward. Just like yeah. not actually killing kill a person. <laughs> yeah, he, he he takes four damage and he falls to the ground. Uh, he's at ah! one HP. Okay. And then his hand is just hanging there, being held by more thought. <laughs> and he's like groaning he in pain. Okay. Yeah. And he drops the knife and he's like, oh, oh yeah. And he's just groaning. Well, that was easy, and he'll. I'll let him go. And he like jumps off, and he's like, oh, uh, "Your your performance is approved." And he won't. He <laughs> runs. Thank you, good <laughs> sir. <laughs> Did he take his knife with him? Oh no, his knife is on the floor. Morthog is gonna pick up the knife and yeah. throw it at him. Like I'm aiming for the butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh, my- like oh, I hope you're not trying to like actually impale that knife. <laughs> it's a light throw. Oh, with the one, the poor man with one HP. Would it? Would that be a uh, <laughs> sleight of hand or acrobatics? I would say it's acrobatics. I just want a, a critical failure. It's like ah, uh, the base of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one to hit him. Um, yeah, it strikes his left butt cheek. He falls to the ground and he's like holding his butt in pain. Hey, Mozart, nice throw. He's just on the Thank ground. You. Nice left butt cheek throw. The party <laughs> looks at you. Um, uh, the, the rest of the crowd looks at you and they're like, <laughs> "Hey, good job, man." And, like someone taps you on the shoulder. He, w- I mean, usually we don't hurt him that bad, but um, uh, he'll he'll remember me for at least a week. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, everyone carries on. Um, the bartender slides four drinks over to the four of you. It's like um, someone paid for this already and someone seems to be paying for a lot of things who's this someone 
Um, they said your newest friend. Uh, That's one way to phrase it, yeah. I hate Mozart's friend. I'm like, just going to turn to like the others. Just There's an awful lot of people wanting to call us friends. Yeah, I'm sure that's a coincidence. Do you all sit down and have a drink first? I'm sure it, ha sure it has something first. to do with a certain blue-eyed fellow. I don't know if I'm gonna... Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about, though. It's, it just seems like every every person we meet just wants to manipulate us and call themselves our friend. I mean... Weird. How how beneficial is it to open up with I'm your enemy? <laughs> you make a point. That that's that's fair. You all and sit down uh, to have your drinks. Well, I mean, yeah, cheers, bartender. I guess. This is, does this town have like a, a learning center, books, archives? Oh, oh no, we're a small village. Morthok will lean in by the way to Kriza. I, I think that's called the library. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> tell me, do you have cake? Uh, depends on what kind of cake you want. Do you want our chocolate? egg custards? Uh, we don't really have chocolate here, but we have like uh, this this wafer cake thing called a uh, sans -Raval. It's We have hazelnut and red pistachio. Oh, that sounds delicious. Which one would you prefer? Pistachio? The, the last one. Just one slice. No. Are you more of a corner piece person or a middle <laughs> piece? Ah, oh, I love the corners. All right, That's all right. a very important question, actually. <laughs> yeah. So um, um, just... I just like put put a silver like question on the counter. It's yeah, and then he, he takes it. And then he comes back and he gives you back five copper. Just like fucking going into like <laughs> bookkeeping now. <laughs> yeah. oh, and then sure. he he looks at you and's like, um, Endor, it's our specialty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Mira, hey, uh, hmm? you wouldn't what? mind <laughs> if I <laughs> is, is it good? <laughs> It's great. <clears throat> it's great. <laughs> you want some? Let me, let me get a piece. Let me let me get a bite. <laughs> How much do you buy it off? <laughs> <laughs> this time you you see a, a lady pull a chair and sit with you all. And he's like, Well if you want a cake, all you have to do is ask. And with that, oh? I think we'll take a five minute break. Right? <laughs> we'll see you all in like ten minutes. Five to ten I minutes. Did ask. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. Grab some water, go to the toilet, wash up, um, do whatever you need to do, and we'll see you in about five to ten minutes. Also, yeah, we'll see you all in a bit. Bye. <laughs> and uh, Welcome back. Um, forgive Snoach's red face. We we have decided that Canada's Florida is indeed Florida. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to explain that any further. How no, I'm not. I will not be this. taking questions. <laughs> no. Don't at me. <laughs> so, um, this uh, female figure looks at you. I can order more cake if you want. Uh, I think we're actually, okay, thank you. Actually, what is this you know, thing with like I mean, random people approaching us? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing like uh, I probably shouldn't have done this in this order, but uh, a sandwich would be lovely. Is that a sandwich? <laughs> oh, all right. Um, Liam. Sadly, I am the same person. Ugh. So just one new friend. Don't you have, don't you have other friends or people to bother? More thought we'll chicken over or again. fish? You're gonna come here and take our cake order? Makes sense. You know, I thought you, you were the would you prefer ham, chicken, or 
Oh, no. oh trust me, I do so much more than that. Chicken, fish, or ham. Egg. Or would you like something particularly interesting? We have this thing called pandesal. Um, it means bread of salt here. Yeah. Sure. And we stuff it with corned beef. Sure. Oh, no. Sounds oh, great. This is my favorite. That's and then, really yeah, good. she orders. <laughs> Oh, today's the food episode. <laughs> any of you prefer anything? Sweet, savory. Well, since you're offering, <laughs> I want to taste all the cakes. Yeah, one and pistachio. animal shake to that. One, one pistachio and one hazelnut, please. Oh, milkshakes. Need I <laughs> remind you what happened the last time we all had milkshakes? <laughs> <laughs> what happened the last time you had milkshakes? It's a long story. <laughs> I'm not sure if <laughs> we met you. We met you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how that happened. <laughs> so are we going with milkshakes and beer? Interesting combination. A nice blend of adulthood oh. and childhood together. Don't make fun too. <laughs> <laughs> well. I just wanted to know you all a little bit more. Well, we can't say the same. That's why I'm not going to be doing the talking. You are... You see, the king... King doesn't trust anyone. Except me, of course. And I do Isn't not trust sure anyone. Hmm. His name can't be just the king. Who is this king? The king? Yeah, who's the- what is, what is he the king of? I didn't vote for him. <laughs> king Manaur. He's a true king. <laughs> How do I- how do I spell his name? <clears throat> M-A-N-A-U-L. And that is all that I will tell you for now. Are any of you of the religious type? Nope. Nope. Well. I mean... He was bestowed powers by the Ocean Bearer. Something that the current Sultan, I would say, is not. So a and lot we look of people claiming to be uh, deities, but uh, haven't so haven't met one who go. actually lived up to that yet. Oh, then so you'd you love to, to meet the king. The Does prince. the king want to replace the rulers? Not yet. You see, the king has, in a way, not by blood. But by bond, siblings, like Rosa, one of many, and he thinks that um, together, they may be more functional, they may be more prominent. Two of their siblings have lost their connection with the gods, so... We would like to talk with Rosa, inform her that trying to create tensions may not necessarily be the best course of action right now. Hmm. Is that enough of a convincing argument why you might be actually a very appealing replacement for a, a lovely Elijah? No. Oh, right. I don't know if you know how mercenaries actually work. But, uh, <sighs> it's definitely not on a thrall basis. 
Well, I believe that we would be willing to settle for less thrall, more emissary, given our current predicament. I can't speak for Mira, but uh, I, I, I work for gold. I don't get bought for gold. It is a difference. And by extension, so is he. I point to Carrizo, because you are still a member of the company. Yeah, sipping on a milkshake. <laughs> didn't didn't get to quite scrub you from the from the rosters for being dead and also. We're just gonna gloss over that part. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> is, that, is that a possible way to just well, on our way. get out of being in a company, dying and coming back? Uh, Dying usually entails a ceremony and honors, and uh, we have a little book we keep. But I think we could skip that, seeing as he's not dead. If gold yeah. is your price, yeah. that is a small thing to pay for us. Just as long as we're clear on ownership. Hmm. Perhaps. You see, I can't help but feel that you are still just a little antagonistic towards our cause. And oh, this I is don't me believe... being my most civil right now. I don't believe that there's a certain level of trust between the two of us. You're right, I don't trust you. Maybe we'll, I don't... Meet, we'll work that out. I don't know what... But... Aling Rosa has put you all out to. Would you like to talk to her? Oh, not me. You are the messenger, the herald. I think he's scared. Oh no, the, I'm only fearful of the king, and the king says that he would rather show her the respect. That she deserves by hearing himself. Can of I course, inside that? <laughs> I'll go ahead. Wouldn't want to break protocol. Like, how much of that is actually true, and how much <laughs> is it like bullshit? Hey. What is my rolling hey. today? I rolled three twenties today. Hey. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> um. So he's telling the truth about um, the king wanting to make Rosa himself. Um, he's scared, though. He... He's... It's not that he's not scared. <laughs> okay. He's more relieved that he doesn't have to meet her. <laughs> like, you can feel that he'd rather not meet her. I don't blame him. Well, I apologize that you are caught between these two deity-like figures. Believe me, none of us are thrilled about it. We need to... Uh, Find a compromise or a middle ground. Now, would oh, you tell we'll, me what uh, Rosa has put you up to? To you shortly, so we'll work that out when we get there. What has Rosa put you up to? Well, I think since you do not want to tell to speak to her, it's only. Oh right that she speaks about this issue with the king himself in other words none okay. of your business I tried being more diplomatic <laughs> All right, let's, 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 let's have a good evening we have cake we have sandwich um, let's stop talking about business for a moment 
You have a very beautiful locket, Carrizo. Yep, it's a nice. Locket. What's your point? <laughs> Where did you get it from? We found it in a hole. <laughs> I, I met someone who had a very beautiful locket like that a long time ago. Except it kind of looked like a frame with a painting in the middle. Well, I mean, as you can clearly see, a locket is very different from oh, yeah? a painting. <laughs> what, what's your point? Who? No, we're just making small talk here. He was a very uh, lovely fellow. Hey, famous painter? Mm, very famous painter. He, he actually was the head painter for one of our, I would say... Enemies, competitors. Of? Would you be familiar with the, the... God of the Void, the emptiness, the great nothing? Yeah. Well, pretty sure we fought one of his, I... uh... Thralls, too. You see, we're making common ground. We are on the uh, same side. Oh, 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 that's that's a reach. I do not want the void to take over. Uh, hmm. Um, Mira's going to just say, um, "Excuse me," and just like get up, um, hmm. walk around the table to, presumably, you know, take care of uh, certain physical aspects let's say um i would like to like create using performance of creation a copy of the locket and switch it out on corizo as i walk by oh. and just uh just like but <laughs> oh, my the God. thing is if if i succeed you like you will hear like faint music while touching it, so it's just like reassuring thing on on the shoulders, like yeah. That's well, it's stolen. <laughs> I will let you know that Carrizo will know regardless. Yeah. Yeah, he will. That was long, yeah. <laughs> it's I I'm just like hoping he will understand mm. what I'm doing, but you know, you never know. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you can make an inside, uh, side of hand check for everyone else, I guess, if you want. Jeez. What the heck in heck? Does Morthok notice that she's about to do something funny? Uh, you can you can make a perception check. Oh, no, you do not. Roll. You do not. You do not notice at all. Okay. So, yeah. Um. Does the previous owner Carrizo know that you have this locket with you? I thought you said you knew him. I knew him. I haven't met him in a very long time. Where did you last see him? I'd, hmm. I'd like to go talk to him. Uh, like I said, we found this in a hole. So he was often traveling between Verde to Asul. Um, last I recall, I think huh. he went to Rosa. It's quite a ways away. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing now. The void, the void is long, but a mere fragment of what it used to be. We just need to snuff out what's left. Hmm. Was he? He was trying to fight the void too. Oh no, his boss. 
Who's this boss? Um, one of the knights of the void, so to say. We call him the librarian. We found what's working for him. These fancy titles. Was until the librarian died. Hmm. But um, I don't know. If this is going to be a callback, but uh, Morthok is going to take out the small cracked stone that he kept when the last time they faced the void, mm-hmm. and just put it on the <gasps> counter. Oh yeah, forgot about that thing. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Nice. I see that you snuffed off a bit of the void yourself. We've met. So the this this is just me establishing our common enemy. I work for the king. The king is one of a few who represent the goddess of color Damn. to keep it simple we want to get rid of the void because we want to keep the color simple enough you if you, need, if you need somebody removed, you know. That, it's a bit more complicated. Gold, it it's a bit more complicated oh. than that. Isn't it always? You have witnessed it already. The stone is one of the fragments of the void. Yeah, the uh, the the uh the thrall, shall we say, was uh yeah, took a few swings. Was it easy to find this stone? Nope. It found us? I guess. Question yeah, mark? we didn't go looking for it. God, why did I leave? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a few more. And there may, may or may not be more knights. Cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. Librarian is but one. <sighs> I have a question. Does the Void actively hunt children? Because that's the the last time we were uh, so uh, blessed with tangling with it. It was after a small children. child. Children. Does the Void hunt children? Sometimes. Sometimes the ones that he feels are the chosen ones are chosen from youth. And sometimes the chosen ones come at an older age. So it depends. I'm just gonna say it's about now that Mira comes back and sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> How's the corn so beef? It's... <laughs> so it's nice to know that we've we've got kind of a co- common adversary, but we can't soon forget that the last uh, person you helped uh, turned into a murderer and a horrible monster and tried to kill a bunch of us. <clears throat> what do you mean, tried? I mean, it succeeded with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he, he tried to kill more than just me. True. There's a couple of dead villagers <laughs> who definitely have a... definitely have some words. I for. did not tell and, him and how to kill don't people. don't have a father? I did not tell him to kill people. I merely provided him with the necessary abilities to provide for his children. Uh, You just armed him and pointed him in a direction. 
Yeah, we can have similar enemies and not agree with each other. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, alas. But you have aligned yourself with Rosa. Is Rosa not dirtier in her tactics than us? Once again, I got hired by Rosa. I owe I'm, her a debt because uh, because of a favor. No more, no I'm less. Honestly, more concerned about the Aswang. Oh, I almost forgot about them. Those <laughs> pigeons, dude. I even forgot about those. <laughs> Wait, you've met you've met the king's other sister already, or uh, other Oh, where that did these Aswang come from? <laughs> Met, um, uh, servants. Let me see if they understand like it. that it's coming from <laughs> okay. hey. Hey. it's um, coming from what? <laughs> Well, that, a 20 that you if never went, at this point. That you never went through Blanco. Oh, yeah. You met the Aswang in Rosa. Mm. Which means yeah. Rosa yeah. is working with Mauna. Oh, that sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Not well, now you've met two of the king's siblings, so I know about two of the king's siblings. He just wants to be part of that circle. <coughs> A shame. Has he thought about asking them? They seem very keen on offering Was he favors. kicked out? No, no, no. They just haven't been talking for a very long time. You see, we thought that the void was already gone. Mm. But they are not. We thought that there was no more problems to deal with. So we kept to ourselves. But now we know that is not true. Have you thought about sending a letter? If only Rosa was so easy to get to. I mean, you travel a lot. You see, every time I try to get into Rosa's forest, I just leave. On accident. It's not even on purpose. Rosa knows that killing me would be like inciting a war. So she just confuses instead. Yeah, she's good at that. <laughs> and apparently she has curried favor among the four of you. Hmm. Again, uh... <laughs> working for her because she provided uh, cat hair something that I needed at the time and if it were that <laughs> simple fine I, I'm okay I do, I do not need to understand the knowing will not benefit oh my god <laughs> so who let that goddamn cat out in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they're allowed in here. Yeah, the cat followed. <laughs> followed we're we're quite friendly. Generally <laughs> speaking, quite friendly, the animals here. So. Oh my god, thank you, Pad. I, I don't want okay, well, right. the king to meet you all with bad intentions. I want you to know that we are genuine. And I'm not sure if Rosa knows 
that the void has returned. Eh, pretty sure she's aware of it. She, uh, would explain why she didn't want to keep the head. Yeah, he just twitches. He's like, she's like, they, <laughs> they don't seem to understand the conversation. <laughs> Long story you short, got uh, that, by the way? Like... I, I, I kept the head of the uh, thrall that, that we killed. Figured, you know, magical artifact and such. I think she, uh, she didn't seem interested. I think picture it this way. For in some way, you have been aligned with Rosa, and the Void knows. Well, pick your friends and your enemies. Why does Mauna not want to work with the King? Why aren't they already friends if they're siblings? Family is a complicated issue. <laughs> is it? After they got rid of their common enemy, they saw no use in communicating. They were given each their slice of land. Manaul feels that he may have been cheated of his monarchy. Mm. Nothing like a jealous king. As far as I know, Ma Mauna has her children flocking the lands. Apparently, outside of her domain as well. Seeing as there are swung in Rosa and even here in Asul, I believe. So I would say pick your friends and pick your enemies. And King Mana so get this straight, would rather be Warlock's friendly. Interrupt him. You want us to act as what? A uh, go between for uh, family drama? Basically? Is that what I'm being told here? Don't think of it as family job, but more of communication between monarchs. Well, uh, once we uh, wrap up what we're the business we're conducting, uh, we'll, we'll be going back to Rosa. So, you know what? For a small price, I'll pass on your message. Thank you. And where would you be heading now, then? Yo, damn, what is that place called? Morthog at this point will will not tell from? him that information. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still want to meet the king and discuss with him? Perhaps he'll be willing to let off more information. I don't know if I want to meet that king. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Sandwich. An egg sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> it's an invisible sandwich. <laughs> it's an invisible sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, y'all trying to see the king? It's not where you're heading to now. Oh, we're we're just making small talk off. now, aren't we? Yeah, I get the feeling like if we don't go see him, this guy's gonna be following us everywhere. 
But I feel like he's gonna follow us everywhere anyway. He just seems yeah, like but he'll guy. be pestering like he has us. He nothing better to do. I don't care if uh, he watches. I'm sorry. Is it a he? Is it a she? What are you? Oh, depends on the body I'm borrowing. Oh, let me see. So you're a she right now. That's fair. Oh, you are yeah, a baby girl right now. Fair enough. She, then she's I have formally asked this body. body. I'm formally asked this body what they prefer, but. Well, anyway, we they're gonna be. Alright. All right. Whatever this go, person like, is. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> is that gonna be pestering us? Like, look, if we go. But if we go to the king, we will waste time. Then we won't get to Rose quick, faster. You know, you're wasting our time. As the I said, we have a uh, quicker. We have a task that we're uh, that we're working on. If it ha so happens that we uh, cross paths, then uh, then we will. Right. I don't count on it. I shall tell the king that you are not heading in his direction then. Are we not? Do you prefer if I refund the ship? Well, Mira, you know more than uh, more than I do. Where are we headed exactly? <sighs> well, that is the question, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot it what that seems... place was called, where we came from. It seems, uh, like the king might be a useful person, entity to talk to. Oh. Guess we're what? doing this I thought then. you didn't want to go. I mean, I don't. <laughs> but it seems like the best course of action. Is is the Herald still present? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, that home yeah, he, he's right. She, uh, she's right there. They don't leave. Yeah. They... <laughs> right. yeah, they got yeah. nothing better to do. Can I... Can I just say, like, while Mira was gone, she, like, called up um, Rosa to ask about this king? Oh! <laughs> you, do you want to do, do, do a flashback scene? I would like to, yeah. yeah. Wait, is it secrets? Yeah. Nice. Wait, tell me now. Uh, I mean, no, nice not really. <laughs> okay. And Rosa's just kind of like... To check, you know? <clears throat> you know me on secrets. Uh... So just like leaving with like having switched the necklaces, just like putting it away. Hmm. <clears throat> uh Rosa? I'm not sure how this works. It's a moment of silence. Nothing's happening. And you hear a I no, I'm just I'm never just glad I would that say it, but I am for once glad to hear you. Um I'm just so glad that um my daughter is calling me first for the first time ever in her entire two and a half ish decades of her life. I appreciate it. You're, you're welcome. Uh, you probably will not be surprised that I have a question. I don't know about <laughs> anything. Please ask me more questions. <laughs> um, so... We got contacted by the Herald of the King. And the King wants to get in contact with you. Uh, Which what do you... King is this? The, the blue one, right? <laughs> are you talking about the Sultan or are you talking about Manaul? Manaul. 
Not the Sultan. Why does he want to talk to you? Well, actually, this happened before the void thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, this is before the void thing. I'm not <laughs> sure, but we do have the opportunity to get to him. And uh, I suppose I'm, I just want to ask, well, your opinion on the best course of action. I don't have much time. I have to get back to his spy. You will... You will be very close to the Blue Egg Gem if you go there. And if... If you can get the lay of the land... We might be able to sneak around and grab the gem. And leave. Do, do you want to... Do you want... Be, well... Do you want the Herald and Mano to be aware that I can just call you at any time? I would rather not. If not, you will become a high priority for them. I'd rather not talk to him, you know? I only care about my daughters. I don't really want to talk to <laughs> any other people. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. I, I gotta get back to to pretending uh, that I'm interested in what he's saying. <laughs> you go do that. You are very conniving, right? Is that <gasps> the word that they like to use? Is there a sweeter word to use? Damn. Probably. <laughs> so <it's laughs> Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck, my child. <laughs> her voice fades. She just okay. went for the jugular. Take it easy. So yeah, my point stands. Like I, I think oh. Mira is voting for going, <laughs> more or less. Well, I no. guess. Well, so what do you think? I'll go wherever. I promised I would help uh, Mira complete this task. Which also, I guess, in theory, is my task, seeing as uh, I owe Rosa for the, uh, the help with our, uh, with our friend, as you all remember. The small price to pay... Sorry, I got distracted by the invisible sandwich. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that sandwich was huge. <laughs> if we meet so the king, yes. will you leave us alone? No, I, I don't delicious. care. As long as you deliver the message to Rosa, meeting the king is irrelevant to me now. Okay, but will you leave us alone? Is what I'm trying to find out. Once, once Rosa gets the message... How about we make a compromise? You like to make deals once every three days or four days. You can come check up, you know. Oh, I don't need sure. to talk to you to check up. I was just oh, great. itching to converse with you today. And this is like the opportune moment. Do you get to talk to a lot of just people? Just making sure. Oh, yes, yes. Do After you get this, to talk to a lot of interesting people. Oh yes. <laughs> um. After More this, I'm most probably be going to, to uh, check up on another thrall. Morthok is going to lean over to Carizo and go like, "I think they need friends." <laughs> After this, I think I'm going to uh, meet up with another thrall. Very interesting lady. Um, she made a deal so that. She would be the most beautiful woman in her village. That's are you okay? Well, to each their own. I is guess. it 
I have to ask if that's going to happen through elimination or amplification. Um, she said that she was in love with someone, but he loved another woman, so... Uh, Damn! Elimination was easier. Wait, this door is actually low-key juicy. What what happened? Did they... Oh, did they so after together? she... So after she made the deal, she, she specifically asked to be the most beautiful woman in her village. So we made her the most beautiful woman in her village. So specifically for the village only? Yeah, and now she's the only woman in her oh! village. But did she get her man? It's not part of the deal. Specific, she I may guess. be getting more than her man. <laughs> Clearly. Her soul is ours now, so. Do you want more interesting thoughts or. No, 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 no. Food? No, more food? No. Um, the sandwich yes. is delicious, by the way. It's great. Oh, thank you for accepting my recommendation. It's great in the morning as well, so feel free to have a great evening. And your boat will be waiting for you. We'll keep you safe. The king looks forward to meeting each of you. Any last words before I leave? No, no, please. To be on your way. We wouldn't want to keep you any longer. Ah. Uh, I'm sure the Herald has many important duties that they must attend. You must have visit them. some time for food. Have, have a great evening ahead and gladly. Um, if you ever go back to... Uh, uh, the main island where Sky Juice is at. Please go to the city there. There's a lot of amazing dishes you can try out. Some say they're the best food for the gods there. The little nut snack that you have, that's what it's called. What? Toodles! And then you see the eyes fade the blue and the lady like looks at you and she's like why am i here well, well you came confused. over to see a magic yeah. trick <laughs> just like, pull out cards <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember <laughs> yeah and as you uh, also thank you thank you very much and as you look <laughs> at your cards mira you realize that big fish and Big fish and big frog, they're like playing go fish with <laughs> just one card. Oh my god. They've been here though. Which I haven't forgot about Which them. card is it? You can tell me which card it is. Okay. They need to they play go fish. <laughs> it's probably like a, <laughs> like a two of hearts because they like each other. <laughs> so so you can just so you can just see them being like do art and then big fish is like and then gives a card <laughs> and big frog is like oh do that's art. odd <laughs> so they're just passing yeah, the one card back on and me. forth <laughs> yeah <laughs> true <laughs> yeah just passing the one card back and forth <laughs> Well, when we're alone, um, so what do you guys uh, th think about this? I don't like it, but it seems like it's going to lead us know. towards where I'm, we need to go. Yeah. The lady definitely just Wait. leaves like she's done with the trick. Yep. Yeah. Lovely meeting I'm, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like uh, yet. 
so you think uh you think he'll want us to go talk to to Maluna? What do you I kind of want to get over there. I'm hoping that this will lead that way. Well, he seems to want want to talk to Rosa. Sure, we could Malina. find on, so. I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, or, uh, if we're looking for this blue gem from Rosa, probably shouldn't uh, let on that that's what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling that, uh, and I'm just going to go, I'm going off of color here, that it's probably has something to do with him, doesn't it? Yes. I also think it might be a good idea to, uh, not refer to that item by its name out loud. Good point. Good point. Fine by me. Do we need a keyword for it? Should we call it cake? (laughs) What kind of cake do you really like? Blueberry. Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry cake. I mean, I'm more of a vanilla strawberry. Maybe I like I like the potassium <laughs> one. You know. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell if Liam missed the point completely, or <laughs> <laughs> or is purposely obfuscating. Do they have blueberry here. <laughs> <laughs> I assume so. I've never had blueberry cake. <laughs> oh, you uh, I didn't hear that also, on uh, the list. Morthok <laughs> will uh, pick up the the gem, the crack gem, <laughs> and he'll show it to Mira. What do you uh, What do you make of this? What do I make of this? <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll oh, toss oh, it over. Also. He'll hand it over to Mira so she can take a look at it. Mira. Hmm. Can I, can I have my lockup bag? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I was not sure if you, when did that happen? If they were going to steal it or not. Yeah, thank you for, for it's quite a magic up. trick. It's an otherwise mundane rock. No. You uh you missed it when you were getting your sandwich, but uh, the uh, the Herald uh, really got to find a, a better name for them. Um, mentioned uh, that they were uh, they were trying to uh, align themselves with us to fight the void. Apparently, that's uh, that's a problem. Mm. Uh, this stone was taken off of a, a or has something to do with the void, certainly. Carrizo might remember. Certainly, it's does. another magical object he just fiddled with out of you no know, restraint for safety. <laughs> that ended just well, hang, as you can hang, tell. Hangs his head a little. Oh my God. <laughs> it was it was while well, I was trying um, to identify its magical properties. What, what were the magical properties then? I don't know, but it ended up with me fighting a giant dragon. Oh. Is that the dragon you mentioned seeing, Carrizo? Uh, Yeah, well, probably. What do you mean, properly? Probably. Have you seen more than one? (laughs) Well, I saw a dragon. I didn't see his dragon. (laughs) I assume it was the same dragon that came from the same gem. (laughs) I know how it is with the void. All these things are fuzzy. Yeah. I do want to find out more about uh, the two file, though. If we are going up against the void, uh, the dragon gave something away. I think uh, he he said uh, two files magic wasn't compatible with the void. He tried to give me a give me a deal um, himself, or the dragon did. So. It's not compatible with the void because it's colorful. Maybe. I don't know. This color, colorful people, as we're learning, 
um, the regard for uh, people's safety is uh, at a at an all time low themselves. Feels like there ain't no good people in this fight. You know, I'm starting to think all this started happening after we smashed that giant dragon statue. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Uh, in hindsight. So, is that is that where this is this is from? Oh no no no, that's that's completely unrelated. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, as far as we know, who knows? Maybe it's that it's a, a chain of events into motion that ended up with uh with where hmm. we are, who knows? And uh, Morthok will start going into that into that tale, I guess. Yep. Okay. Regaling <laughs> our our feats of daring. Do mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah, emphasize showing off like, the bed. Like I fell off gone. a ladder and landed on a, on a on a goblin. That was fun. <laughs> oh my god! I ever forgot about. That. And then there was this big, like, <laughs> mutated giant dragon thing. Grumble Ball jumped on top of it. Mm. Oh, damn. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there shouldn't have been a way we could have defeated that thing, but uh, we did. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Found this thing, too. Fun times. Well, specifically, Carrizo did. I'm noticing there's a pattern here. Carrizo, you seem to be... Highly prone to just discovering dangerous natural <laughs> objects. Mm -hmm. I have spells d specifically designed to find dangerous magical artifacts. You should did think about I... capitalizing on that. Did well, I want the next non dangerous one. ones either <laughs> as well? Yeah, all, all kinds. Hmm. Two hearts. Should... He'll, he'll like go into <laughs> casting hearts. detect magic, you know. <laughs> I now that think you think about it. I think we should go sleep. You you see Big Fish and Big Frog seem to be have some kind of um it's I wouldn't say it has a school, but it has a blue hue. Oh, like themselves? Yeah. Do oh. I have any uh, hues? Actually, I would say it's specifically. <laughs> I'd say specifically teal. Um, Actually, fair, fair. Not um, sapphire. Yeah, it's more teal, <laughs> and you would detect a faint pink hue as well from Mira. Ooh. Also, these glows. <laughs> and of course, Marthox, oh. white as heck, evocation and school sword. Probably also more. But he was like the least. Everybody got huge. Hands are, uh, <laughs> on them, surrounding them. I have nothing. <laughs> I have absolutely. I'm so salty. Just wait until I'm a damn dragon. I'm saying, uh, Morthok's <laughs> hands are do, do look uh, a as little funky aside. as well. Mm. You have the ring, the him, and the unbreakable daggers. Yeah, I but... have the unbreakable stuff. But that's not the same. I, I so can't believe what? I didn't get to use unbreakable like items. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yet. 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 Hey, big fish. Yeah, we'll still eventually go back. <laughs> it turns its head. Yeah. You see the eyes yeah. is blinking you know pointing magic? in different directions. And then he walks over. Magic speak with you, yes? Oh. Makes sense. But it's odd, because, wow. Carrizo, you don't have a hue. Morthok doesn't have a hue. Mm -hmm. Spellcasters <laughs> shouldn't have a hue. Mm hmm. They what? They shouldn't have one. Well, they yeah. should have one. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have one. Mm -hmm. They're not the magic. They make magic. Oh. Oh. So. <laughs> hey, Mira, you're doing all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why are you asking? Let me. 
Let me, uh... Do you mind if I did do a little checkup on you? Do, I do, if you don't tell me what the checkup is about. You, you got some, uh, some magical radiation uh, happening. <laughs> no, that sounds serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, just see what uh, what it is. Go. Uh, I have one spell for uh, it's just preliminary detection of magic, and another spell for uh, identification of uh, said effects. All right. Uh, and he'll cast identify on Mira on on, on Mira's. <laughs> Mira's glow. I was just, you know, all the By Mira herself. <laughs> so, so as you begin casting, identify. Are you doing a ritual? It's not a ritual. No, it okay, costs casting of magic. So, um, it it does take you, a minute. Oh. You 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 feel, um, the information slowly come to you. You start thinking of logical answers for it. However, your train of thought is interrupted by a voice that goes, And what are you doing right now, Coriso? <laughs> does Mira hear that, by the way? Because if she does, I have, a, I have an answer to that. I think so. Uh, do I, I thought, do I recognize was, it as? I thought you were yeah, supposed yeah. to not remember, or not remember. <laughs> no, but right now he's doing something funky, and I want to understand what is happening. What? <laughs> I I was concerned. There was uh, some magic uh, on on Mira here, and uh, I wanted to see what it was. I assume it's whatever you're doing. Yes. Else, Mira is my daughter. We have a bond. I mean, I'm assuming we're just hearing Carrizo's <laughs> answers here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at him like, what? Liam's a daughter, and she can't you think... talk to her dad. I don't think. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What about my dad? We have That's... more of a bond than that. All right. Well, I guess. All right. I imagine it's like I don't just find like... she just starts speaking in your mind. Oh, this enchantment was put on this curse <laughs> by a by an entity known as Rosa, and then it just like goes to static, <laughs> and then Rosa <laughs> like starts speaking. Morthok is gonna ask Liam interrupting uh, a is broadcast. He... <laughs> is he talking to himself? Uh, no, 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 it's uh, it's Rosa. Uh, is it himself? I think. <laughs> I think Rosa's please got a, a bit of a connection. Please don't say that out loud. Why? <laughs> because the Herald got here. That's true. <laughs> Probably still hanging <laughs> around, honestly. Seems to really need friends. But we're alone. Are we? Are we? <laughs> In the middle of a tavern with a lot of other people who are <laughs> drinking as well. <laughs> oh, We'll talk about it later then. Yeah, me and Big Fish and Big Frog still playing the same game. <laughs> two hearts. Give them a, give them a second. You should really give them, give them an extra them card. Like second card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a three of hearts. <laughs> and then you see Big Fish holding two hearts and three hearts. And then Big Frog says two of hearts. And then Big Fish is like. <sighs> And he passes the two of hearts. <laughs> I, and then Big Frog is like, card. Uh, he's holding, Big, Big Frog is holding the two of hearts. And he's like, 
two of hearts, and then they give you that. <laughs> this game got too complicated. There's <laughs> <laughs> too many extra things, you know. Two gold pieces on the fish. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, so you, you see that they have a blue hue, um, a teal hue. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to do for the evening? Oh, how do you send post in this place? Big, big oh, pigeons. Fish people. <sighs> of course. Um, just, uh, where do you two want to spend the night? And then big fish and big frog look at the cards and they're like, Shrug. I'm I'm gonna go to like the bartender or whoever and just ask. Hey, um, is there a place around here where I could buy more cards? I just like move my head to big fish and big frog. The bartender is like, um, yeah, yeah, um, we have a couple of packs here if you if you want. People like playing cards here. Alright. This one? Well, now that you ask, how many you got? About four packs. How much each? Silver. How much for all four? Alright, here. With four silver. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, me passes for a deck of cards. Is it rest time? Uh, yes, I, I do mm -hmm. think I will try and stop Corizo before he sleeps, though. Um, I'm just trying to send a letter. Well, two letters. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Like, to her dad and to Swindling. <laughs> okay, what... Uh, Corizo, Corizo, he... I, you seem wait, to be wait. the target. For what? the blue people? What do you mean? Well, they want to. They clearly seemed much more interested in you as a thrall than anyone else. Sure. Um, now, I would not advise doing this, but I want to let you know that there is another option if you want to um, escape that you just need to let me know first and I can bind you to Rosa instead hmm. it's I don't know what the effect would be but you know you couldn't be bound if you're bound to someone else I think does Morthok hear any of this? Hey, or like, is I, I'm trying to make it so no one else hears it. <laughs> Where are we yeah. at this point? It, just by the way. It, I don't. Interesting. Know. I, I certainly don't have any intent to become a thrall or bound to, to them in any way. So their methods don't sit well with me. He was boasting about killing a whole bunch of women in a village. He was. And uh, I, I think it's just a last, you know, last resort, if you cannot avoid it. Fair enough. Good to know the options there. I, then again, I do not know if it's better if you're bound to someone else instead. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Mira. Yes. D uh, <laughs> and and I, I guess Rosa as well. <laughs> uh, <Do> you... Rosa? <laughs> I think, think Corisa wants to speak to you. <laughs> but, uh, well, to, to the both of you, I guess. She's not... Anyway. What, what are... What are your thoughts on 
um, Mauna. What, what can you... Uh, and also, does she know anything about uh, Maul? Manaul? Okay, just to put it out there, I think those two are the only ones with names that start with M. <laughs> <laughs> Just to put it, just put it out there, it just happened to be those two. Um, I, I like it. if they're siblings, then it, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, Rosa, do, do I need to touch him for you to, to be able to talk to him? What's what's happening here? Uh, I I can talk to him directly. Yeah, I can. Just what the? It's a menial spell. Ow. Oh. I think uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, Rosa was thinking that they, uh, Mauna was sending spies as the Aswan s- s- she, servants, but spies. She just called sending a menial spell. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's a level 3 spell, just here for people who don't know. And then she. That's what you ask, right? About Mauna sending spies. Then Rosa says. Firstly, we are not siblings. We are given power, sure, by the same entity. But that does not make us related at all. Mauna cannot be trusted. Just as I admit, I cannot be trusted. That's fair. (laughs) <laughs> but you have no um no fond feelings fond feelings if she was to not be around anymore that would be okay with you oh yes more land for me perhaps Blanco's right next to me. I think I would be the first to take it. But maybe I can count on your help. I think the Lord of Espada, my black counterpart, so to say, I I think he'd be too busy to head up north to reclaim land. That's all. Who knows if we're even going that way. Oh, if you want to go there and you want to meet her, I don't think she'll let you leave without sampling some of her wares, so to say. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. Good night. Have fun talking to um, Ling. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> night, Mia. <laughs> Good night. Have the sweetest <laughs> of dreams. Thank you. Can we go to Liam's letters? Oh, sh- I actually I- don't even think. I should have used that time! <laughs> I should have been using that time constructively, but I was busy listening to the juice. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> so you're sending a letter to your dad one to and her to dad your... and one to Swindling A. Mm-hmm. Um, she obviously wants to be like A or Pops. Oh, first of all, how are you? you know, how's <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. First of all, <laughs> second, she want to be like, well, I found somebody, and you might recognize this name of Cass, and yeah, and they just ask about her mom, and like, why didn't he tell her that the mom's like, you know, because he spoke as if she died, type of vibes, you know. 
Well, I feel like he would have. I don't know. And then to swindling the snake. Yo, let's let's kill swindling fingers. Let's just do it. One My time. thoughts anyway. in your letter to him. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> She's like, ooh, let me erase that. That's not for him. <laughs> Better start a new page. <laughs> Deleting the text. Like, oh no. <laughs> When you send the group, you, you're supposed to send it to an individual and you send it to the group chat instead. <laughs> she wants to ask Swindling, like, about her mom because clearly Cass told her that the mom's is who put them in contact. And that's yeah. all. Oh, oh yeah. and send out money, no? <laughs> We completed the job. Send our money home. Okay. Don't call swindling a home. <laughs> so it'll cost. Uh, it'll cost like two silver pieces to send out two pigeons. I don't have. I only got gold. I can't see. You'll have to believe me. Oh yeah. yeah. I have like three. How do I make change? <gasps> oh, the shop you... men don't have change. <laughs> I'll do the math. <laughs> I'll do the math for you. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, you have. Change, you have like eight gold. Why are you so poor? <laughs> she gives all her money to her dad. Bro. <laughs> what does she need money for except for sweeties? And sweeties apparently are like one copper. She out here uh, about yeah. to have diabetes. We need to actually have an uh, intervention or something <laughs> for those babes. I don't know. <laughs> now she's she bringing off somehow, all the sugar. She still, like, somehow, you know, is very fit. And... Yeah, she, she, she burns it all somehow. off. She exercises enough. Yeah, I feel like that's what she does in her spare time. She just strikes me as the kind. She better not strike you. She's strong. So, lastly, Morthok. Oh, Morthok is already asleep. <laughs> before <laughs> before you sleep. Crazy yeah, like, on, on the way, like, your blade... It, it seems to be colder. Interesting. Uh, I assume I have my own room, wherever we're staying. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna, before he goes to rest, he's gonna take the blade out and stare at it for a bit, try to figure out if something's changing. Do I need to <laughs> roll a, a check? Um, what check do you think would be appropriate for that? Uh, I have no idea, to be honest with you, Insight, because hmm. I'm trying to see if there's anything different than before, right? I think like an Insight or Perception. Would, or investigation would work okay um neither of those two are great so i'll go with investigation <laughs> seven yeah was it a lucky, bad roll? lucky what happened lucky number seven it was a nine minus two yep i like i said he's not very good at investigating so as you're observing the blade um, while you look at it, you hold the blade, right, to kind of like observe it, and then you realize your hands begin to frost. Bro, that's happened before, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not scary or anything. And then when you put the blade down, your hands are still frozen. Can I? Uh... <laughs> Can I still work them as hands, yeah, or are still, they frozen? You can, still, like... you can still move them, but you can see like a a thin layer of frost. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab the nearest object, see if I can make it colder. It's like when you put ice on an object, right? And you you remove your hand, you see the water begin to condense on the cold handprint. Mm. 
I'm gonna take something like uh, maybe like an apple or some of that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna actually apartments. I'm gonna press it against the blade <laughs> and concentrate on trying to free like just think about freezing the apple. For a moment, you're like focusing. Yeah, focusing. Yeah. And then you peek open an eye to look. Doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I think Morthok won't know this, but for Snazzy to know, you have resistance to cold damage. Ooh, what does that Crunch. mean for fire damage? No, <laughs> nothing not, happens not with fire damage. No. There's nothing for fire damage. Uh, so the other thing I think then uh, he's just going to take out his kit and try to sharpen and clean and polish the sword before he goes to bed <laughs> general care so now if Carrizo casts identify magic um, you're gonna have like evocation ev emanating from Morthok wow <laughs> don't worry on the road to becoming a dragon Liam <laughs> it's a price Liam. worth paying Liam you need to, like, steal that sword and run away. <laughs> <laughs> no! Just now, before I become a dragon, then Pegamemnos come and eat me. I don't, I don't want any of that business. I don't want to make Pegamemnos angry. Yeah. The morning comes. You all rest. And you begin, I guess, heading to the ship. That you have been... Booked, I guess. What kind of ship is it? It's a, it's a simple-sized um, galley. It's a small-sized galley. Um, it it seems to be more of a transport ship than a military or battleship. Yeah. As you like, does it comfortably fit all four of us? Yeah, it's big. It could fit oh, maybe right. two dozen people. The answer was no, it fits you uncomfortably. <laughs> it could fit maybe two dozen crew, actually. Um, and as you head into the ship, it seems to drive itself. The water oh, seems to flow. And then. We see storm clouds begin to form overhead as you head towards the island. It's odd. You see the water around you raging massive waves, but the galley is fine. And then, calm. The kind of still calm where the ship doesn't move. And then you hear footsteps coming from under the ship. But none of you, but all of you are upstairs, right? And then we'll end the session there. Ah, ah. <laughs> you couldn't have at least revealed the face. No. And then ended. <laughs> like, that's enough. No, I'm speaking for everyone, including the people watching. I'm speaking for everyone. <laughs> so, just to let. <laughs> so, let chat know y'all are in the middle somewhere here. Nobody knows. It's an awkward location. Awkward, you say? Mm -hmm. Secret location. <laughs> so it's this really awkward, like, you see storm clouds, but you are fine. Your ship is not moving. So, yeah. I'm gonna I can't start wait to find out what this is. Man, I'm trying to know who it is. 
Oh, I'm very excited to show you. Big fish. Big fish is going to pop up. <laughs> oh no, it totally is. <laughs> they, they, they still wait on board and are just playing more. <laughs> Go fish. Go fish. <laughs> oh my Zero god. Cards. Just a, just a boat. <laughs> So as per usual, chat, every week we run a who is MVP. You make up the criteria. You decide what makes up an MVP. The best player, the worst player, the one with the cutest nose, the one with the longest nose hair. Yeah, that would yeah, that, definitely be you. I'm, you can't vote for me. I'm so sorry. I gladly take inspiration, <laughs> though, but no, no, that no. would be unfair uh -huh. to the players. Very much so. And yeah. Um, you can feel Just free like, to use bits or grains. And then keep, please, please put it on one minute this time instead of ten. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am. I, that's the first thing I did. Uh, ten hours. <laughs> ten hour poll, yeah. Okay, I've switched it to one minute. If it doesn't, that means the, the poll button has a problem. No, it's definitely one okay, minute. it looks like one minute. Okay, so let's look at goals. <laughs> nice. <laughs> let's look at your goals. So, more thought. Figure out why Carrizo is alive. Yeah. We got to the bottom of it, it was the weird painting oh, that he has. Yeah. Okay, that is... I would say... Are you done with this goal? I think so. I, I, I have a firm grip, I think, on why he came back. Okay, that would be 500 experience. Hang towards, hang towards the blue gem. Uh, is 250. Well, working on it right now. Yeah. Make sure Kariza's newfound life isn't promptly squandered. Okay, at least not promptly. He hasn't, he hasn't died yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'd say 250. Okay. So 1,000 total. Um, Mura. Oh, um, don't forget, by the way, Morthok, uh, you have inspiration. Did I? Is it more thought? Was it Carrizo? Yeah, I thought it was Carrizo. Oh, it's Carrizo. Okay. Um, Mura. Learn who the Herald is and what is their goal. Uh, I think that's pretty much done. Five hundred. Very talkative. <laughs> oh my! Yes, he. Yes, he that was. That character is annoying. No lie. <laughs> Find someone to bind with a contract. I mean, I you tried. Work in progress. <laughs> I told Carissa about it. Working towards. Yeah, so 250 for that. Learn who the Herald is is 500. Did I say that? Yes. Learn a yeah, recipe. And, and recipe. Um, you succeeded really well, so like. Let's do 500 for that as well. Five hundred. Yeah, I was thinking. Guess. Yeah, because I was thinking it would be two fifty if you barely succeeded. But... I fucking smashed it. Smashed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Smashed it. Crazy. Yeah, so we'll do double. The show... best damn kraken sushi you ever tasted. Damn, we're still thinking about it. Carrizo, hmm. find out more about the Herald it. King. Herald of the King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are you done with that? Yeah. 500. Uh, Find oh. out more about 2 file. I think you kind of tried. Josh, yeah. uh, I found out I that he yep. was Which working for the librarian. I have Level a theory up. now that maybe he killed the librarian. <laughs> almost, almost. Like 175 away. Teach so Mira. Week. Yeah, next oh, week. Uh, how much? How much for the two file? 
Two fire is two fifty, yeah. I think, because you're working towards it. You know a bit. For sure. Can I check off a an amount on the the scale, the downtime scale? The the one, one out of seven. The who is two file? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh add 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 one to that. Okay, two out of seven. So it's two out of seven. Uh, teach Mira Carrizo's adventurous appetizers. We did that. That that's five hundred too. So, do you do you have an argument for why you should get two hundred fifty more experience for anything? <laughs> for who? Sorry, what? For for any of your goals, just so you can level up. Um. I am risking more for the for the binding because I'm revealing info to my party now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> also, Dude. I have a question about the downtime for Corizo's adventurous appetizers. Yeah. What is the completion target? How many? I'm thinking. I'm thinking five is pretty okay. close. Awesome. So one out of five then. Yeah. I think five is not too far away, right? Um hmm. I Or do you think you can learn the recipe in like three sessions? Three lessons. Nah, nah. Like the like, fact that it's that it's like magical then yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the magical part that I think five is a nice number for it. Um, Lee him. Find out more about mob. Definitely work towards, I guess. Working towards. Bit. Uh, send Swindling Fingers a letter. You have done that. So, 500. Nice. What happened to Carrizo? Yeah, yeah. So what happened to Carrizo? The homie died and came back to life. <laughs> and the creepy thing that I saw before he died was in the locket. That's all I need to know. The creepy thing you saw? When he was dying, he looked beat up. He died right next to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I witnessed it. I know the I saw it. recovering. Okay, that's another 500. <laughs> and and don't forget the 250 Carrizo of, for inspiration. I kind of loved just like Should I say it again? bitching with Carrizo. It was great. Two, <laughs> <laughs> 250 for Stop. inspiration. Right. And can you I add believe... it in my sheet so I can see? Okay, I believe that there's a, a tie between... Uh... Was it Carrizo and Liam? No, it was uh, Morthok and Liam. Oh, Morthok and Liam. I think so. Right? So I'm not sure Car right now. No, Carrizo, Carrizo I'll and, and Mira are oh. the, the ones No, that like, I... it was definitely not Mira, I know that. It, it was Carrizo and Liam. Okay. Oh, okay. Was it okay. But how, how much experience does Liam have? Because it should go to who has the least experience, I think. I'm also um, tempted to say take it because I had it this that's, week. But that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't click. Sense. I can't click. I can't tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the math for you now. I'm doing the math for yeah, the him it. now. Yeah. No, I had it this week. She's at... and and also Lee him used it on Carrizo <laughs> when she had it. So definitely, definitely take it. Okay. Okay. Did I help you? Lehim is also about to level up, almost. Hey, what hey, am I looking at? Hey, to be fair, I'm only, uh, only how much away? 550, that, that, that's, that's easy. Sure. How far away is everyone, by the way, right now? So 550, 175, Lehim? Grizo is the furthest, still. Yeah, but like... Then, surely you should take it. Uh, Lehim is 200 away. Ooh. Oh. 
next. So no, next you take week. it, because then you can level up next week. <laughs> yeah, but you can get closer too. I'm I good think... at my goals. I'm I'm help always me. off. No, um, I think Snowchin and uh, Panda are just one working towards goal away. Literally, yep. <laughs> yeah, so, I just so they're need definitely to, I just need leveling to like, up next okay, week. What a contract, and I have a level. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I need to. I need to make sure that I don't know. I'll make something stupid. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely leveling up next week, so that's not an issue. How long do do letters take to travel in this place? Are pigeons, pigeons? fast? I don't know. Oh, they take days. Ah ah ah! They take days. Yeah, pigeons aren't exactly speedy animals. <laughs> it's gonna Does be anyone a long have while. They're also not speedy, and yet you know they're what? used in the I magical just... world of Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're like what owls are like the slowest bird. <laughs> and Someone's not built magic for is like... gonna have to help next week. Yeah. Owls are built for stealth, not speed. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, thank you, players. Hang that out. Um, I'm gonna sh randomize it, and let's go with hey, Rorik. Rorik, can people find you? Um, hello. Uh, I'm Rorik2. Uh, you can find me at Rorik2 on all of the socials and the the Twitters and all that. Uh, and Twitch. Um, yeah, I, I play uh, all sorts of games. I've been playing a lot more shooters the last week, uh, but I, I do also do D&D stuff. Uh, I, I've fixed my assets in Dungeon Draft, so I might do uh, a couple more maps in the future. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, what are you doing, Snooch? Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> uh, Ooh. uh, hey, I'm known on the internet as Snow Chicken Lord. You can usually find, or short for Snooch, but, um, you can usually find me on twitch.tv slash Snow Chicken Lord, where I create D&D stuff and stuff for other tabletop RPGs. Uh, though I have to say that is currently on hold because I am really fucking busy, and the most <laughs> you can you can see of me is actually right here, every Saturday. <laughs> hey, Panda. Oh, be before that, like I, I'm, just, I really love your background. By the way, this was done by Blur. That was great. <laughs> like effort is a plus. Is that All a right. sea of thieves? background looks like it uh, you know, no no <laughs> <laughs> hmm? right pants where, where you... oh god what, what background <laughs> is this though okay oh is it needed oh are we already oh Hi everybody, I'm Panda T Gaming on YouTube. You can find me there. You can find me Panda T on all the socials as they are. I don't know if I'm pointing the right way, whatever. Um, <laughs> I played a lot this week. I did a lot this week. And I don't know if next week is going to be as active, but go check it out. That's all I have to say. Snazzy. <laughs> I don't know where you are in relation to me anymore. Uh, that way. I, wherever that way is. Hello. <laughs> Internet viewers, dear, dear viewers, uh, my name is Snazzy. You can find me here on Twitch as a uh, Snazzy Bastard. Uh, as you can see over there, over there, it's the, it's definitely this way. I've learned where to point now. Hey. It's definitely over here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the socials <laughs> inside. Uh, yeah, I I, I uh, broadcast pretty much every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, we're doing Gunplot later tonight. Uh, we're going to be starting a new game. We're going to be starting a new game tomorrow, but if you want to know what that game is, you're going to have to tune in tonight, Ooh. where I'm going to reveal what the new game is. <laughs> Ex That's exciting. Yeah. Exciting Joshi, stuff. Joshi, take us away. Yeah. Thank you all so much, players, for watching, for playing, and thank you, friends, for playing this game and entertaining me every single week with this. Um... I'm multitasking. I'm trying to find someone to raid. Tomorrow we'll be doing some Halo. We can and hear I'm that. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I, I bumped, I bumped my mic. I'm so sorry. 
I think it's oh, just oh. because like you're looking for someone and then it just starts breaking up. Is it no one? Handle? No one is on today. What is special? <laughs> it's what Saturday, is... my dude. No, it's usually we have someone to raid. I have at least like five friends who are alive. Is it? Is it because it's post Thanksgiving and everyone's just like done with Everyone's life? Passed out, yeah. Okay, we, we won't do a raid today, but tomorrow we'll be doing Halo. Um, please follow these amazing people here. Um, I'm going to try and convince Panda to play uh, horror games with me more. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, no I've been convinced you to play GTA. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been, do crime. I've, do crime. I've been getting a lot into... Hades again. I I want to make a Hades inspired TTRPG with the hope system that I'm working with with Vin. I want to see how it will work. Um, that's my next big project. So if you want to see something like that happen, boons and a hyper dra dramatic player, I would say um, she's fun to watch. And and yeah, I won't reveal it yet until it's more permanent i guess but yeah players thank, thank you for hanging out um thank you thank i'm you. very excited Damn, <laughs> just new more new characters um i would have loved for you all to go to big fish and big frog's hometown where the uh. whole village are just big fishes and big frogs that actually sounds... That would be fun. one hell of a game of Go Fish. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Everyone has one card. <laughs> Stop. Wait, I need to but... write down that I bought, like, four. Four packs. But... Oh, oh. With that, um, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I I'll see you all tomorrow and Monday. Bye. and every other day and follow all bye these bye people bye. and watch them in the streams bye friends bye bye. 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 you forgot bye. to tell the people they're awesome this is basically making it easier for it's awesome yeah, josh uh, uh. who's awesome uh, uh, uh. you're awesome you're i'm awesome. so sorry i'm so tired but <laughs> <laughs> have a great weekend no worry, I, got you. <laughs> I love you guys so much <sighs>